Let's see here. Everybody got a mic? Yep. I am here with the whole MTG crew, and it's a whole lot of us up in here this morning. So I'm going to start off. That's a whole lot of color people up in here. <laughs> First, I'm going to start in. Well, now I'll start next to you. Miss Sunshine, good morning. Good morning. Are you feeling better today? A little. How's your baby doing? Baby's fine. Baby's fine, but is this you? Yes, yeah, and that's just me. Okay, no problem at all. I'm going to skip you, bro. You know, ladies first, right? <laughs> Miss Shimmy, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm good. Day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's I'm gonna talk my shoe. I'm gonna talk my shoe like Mr. Rogers. You know, I talk the shoes and put new shoes on. <laughs> you know, the question. Yeah. The question that I always had is, Mo, where Mr. Rogers, where he ever come from to get in his sweater and his shoes? He just came from outside. He just came from. He's a child. <laughs> I mean, we were children. He, 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 he came, came from work. work. He came from work. He came from work. work. He, he came, came work. home, and then Mr. what kind of work did Mr. Rogers do? I don't know. Mr. Rogers didn't matter. He could be slicing. He could have been. Well, you know what? He was well, like civil rights, rights oriented, so he might have, you know, just came in from court from or march. something or something. Yeah. Yeah. From the march, because yeah. he's Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But and what killed me? He switched from one sweater to, to another, another sweater. sweater. Yeah, one <laughs> outside one. sweater, inside sweater, outside shoes, inside shoes. All right, everybody, Moe's here with us this morning. Hello, good morning. Now, listen, everybody, we got a crazy show for you on this morning. Listen, I decided to name this show Q's Brainchild because this show is going to go totally top off the top of my dome. Oh, Lord. Um, so y'all have to bear with me. We were supposed to do the uh, Love Connection uh, show on today. But uh, I don't think nobody wants to go on no day with you. That's fine. <laughs> that's, you know me. I'm a, you know I'm me. A, I mean, you know, we had we had a cancellation. That is not you know, how that and works. That's completely understandable. <laughs> that is not how that works. And so, a lot of men want to go out on a date with me. Well, they, they read this shirt, and then they, they probably don't want to go out on a date with me. What does the shirt say? I got say? my money spender shirt on. Money I'm spender. I'm looking for my money maker match shirt, you know. Money maker, money spender. There you mm -hmm. go. Oh, gotcha. Oh, so that might be why they don't want to go out. What's the topic this morning again? Brainchild. Q's, Q's brainchild, MTG style. Because people are asking, so what does that mean? <laughs> Q's brainchild. That means that the show's going to come totally off the top of my head today. Oh. It's not that bad. So let's match your gas real quick. Uh, Mo, I'll start with you. Do you have anything positive today you would like to match your gas on today? I just think everyone's wonderful. Everyone's lovely. It's mm. all wonderful out there. Because I passed a wreck where the guy sped out, hanging out the car. And uh, uh, so, you know, what other, however pissed off or upset I was after I saw that and got to drive by, I'm good. <laughs> no Because he was on 67 hanging out the car, and I was like, I'm good. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was trying to take a picture, and the, the, the what she said, take a picture of that? I was trying to take a picture because I was trying to tell you I was going to be late. And the uh, fireman said, ma'am, are you taking me? I said, no, sir, I'm not. Click, click. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Anybody else, Miss Miss Shimmy, you got anything this week you want this is shit a little positivity on this week? Oh, a little pot okay. Oh yeah, we are doing the, yeah, the yeah, positivity we, yeah, we, you know, We're not complaining um, this much. Yeah. You know what? I'm not you know, I actually don't have no complaints this month. Everything was good. You know, I got to leave work early a couple times this week. Okay. You know, just to de stress and decompress. You know, my mind. Is that what they call it nowadays? Decompress. De decompress. And decompress de is a new word. You know, it ain't. You need a mental health day. Mental well, health in day. collections, you don't get a mental health day. Mm. It's, I should have oh, a mental health no. week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A month, even. I mean, you know. <laughs> but it was a good week. I, I got over my, my sickness, you know, my little cold and everything. Everybody in the house is now refreshed and everything. But I did find out that we have an English child living in our house. Yeah, the baby. The, the baby. Because English. he's watching what? 
Yeah, and he said, no, he's not watching none of that. He watched Toy Story all day, and for some reason, he says, mommy, fine, like a normal child, but it's daddy. That's Peppa Pig. Daddy. That's but Peppa he doesn't Pig. watch Peppa Pig uh, at uh, all. He's hearing it from someone. I'm telling you, because when my daughter said, well, are we going to take the lift? I was like, where the heck were you going? And then they say lift, and then they say holiday instead of vacation. She we have no Peppa Pig in our house. I'm mm-hmm. telling you. Not it's, not, it's not daddy, it's Papa. I think Papa, it was Peppa Pig. Papa was daddy. But yeah, he's, no. he's all daddy, daddy, daddy. daddy. And I said, where did this English child daddy. come from? Because none of us are proper in that house. So I don't know. Wow. It's hilarious. So that was my week. Yeah, my nephew was was kind of doing something like that. I was, I was over at my mom's house. And um, my sister and I was over there. And, you know, pro- at one point, you know, he would, he would probably say, like, daddy, daddy. But his dad, his, now he's like, dad, dad. And I was like, oh, that's Dad. Cool. That's is he in cool, kindergarten? Yeah. I was like, Dad. No, he starts school next year. I was like, oh, I was like Dad. 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 Well, you know, he's always in front of educational stuff. My sisters, you know, you know, they always keep them kids in front of like YouTube and stuff to teach them how to count and how to spell. Right. That's what you know. That's what they do. You know, for them, you know, instead of watching Grand Theft Auto, you know, they uh, make them. Kids in our house watch everything. I mean, so I was just like, Wow. Okay, boys, you got anything? You know what? I know Kobe Bryant passed, and I know that was a sad thing, but I like the fact that all these dads are showing pictures of their girls. Yeah. I like that. Right. That was that was very beautiful. Now if we could just if it did take somebody's death to do right. that, keep that going. Because that's a beautiful thing to see dads with their girls and I mean just dads with their kids anyway, especially yeah. when they're black men. And they're out with their kids and taking pictures and you know just being active in their lives that's that's a beautiful thing so keep that going keep that going because you know i i really enjoy seeing all those pictures on social media that's actually a good thing i found out some people got some kids that i didn't even know had kids mm. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm it's, a it's a positive. It's a positive. Okay, okay. Is yeah. it okay? Is it okay? Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you want to keep your one. children in secret, but well, you know, some people are putting their kids on social media. Well, you know what I'm saying? They now, don't put their kids on social media. I can agree you know, with not putting your kids yeah, on social, social media. media. Okay, I, 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 I can, I can, I can definitely agree with that. I got you. But to me, it's like if if you have children, people should know about it. You don't have to post them all on social media. I get that part. I really do get that. But, I mean, just be active in your children's lives. Yeah. You know, it's you know, boy or a girl. So you got to be active in their lives. That's it. That's all I got, man. Okay. Miss Ashan, what about you? I'm good. You good? <laughs> you just good, huh? You just glad to be breathing. Because I know you was good and stopped though when I talked to you. Shoot. Well, I'm going to keep it minimal because, you know, I talk too much. I may cough up a lung right here on the table. <laughs> Please keep um, <laughs> internal, internal organs, organs to internal. yourself. <laughs> we need all your internal organs to I don't need an inside. extra set of lungs, okay? I think yeah. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Okay. What you got? What I got, actually, um, um, the, uh, the good news for me, I guess, this week is that we are off next week. We're off next week. I decided. Oh, okay. And, we got a vacation. And, and what did he decide? Today. Mm-hmm. It's off the right dome. Now. He said he off the dome. Well, that's, hey, that's hey, I'm all know. appreciative yeah, for a Sunday off. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know what? And I'm going to do one even better. No phone conference when we see. What? What the damn bell is. Yeah, 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 phone we're conference 30 week. minutes and we on the phone two hours. Yeah, I know, right? How many days yeah. can I get out of this bell? I know, right? So, yeah. So, you so, feel it all right? I'm feeling you just feel fine. Great. You know what? Okay. I, I, hold up. I'm rather skinny. Time out. Time out. Time out. Let me see it. Okay, good. Are good. you trying to lose weight or something? No, 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 no. I, I am. I've been, you know, going to the gym, and I've been, you know, just kind of thinking about these that. things, and you don't know, want to be cut a little bit around the no, waist. No, I don't believe nothing about waist those this, boys. Uh, no, I think you was just sick for a week. Time no. out. Time out. Time out. Time yes, out. Because my mental just started putting some stuff together. Uh-oh. Now, Cuban gave us next week off, and I appreciate that, mm-hmm. brother. I, I really do. <laughs> However. It's I know why it's a recall. Yeah. Yeah, I just so, said, yeah, just I remember quick. somebody said he was making a trip down yeah. to Houston. Right. Yeah. 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 
Now he was going somewhere. Exactly. And he was gonna be back he's late the, yeah. Friday. Late Friday. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna be back. here on Saturday. Can't but make it back late Friday. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's why we got We ain't got no damn oh, day off. His cube ain't gonna be here. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at being in Atlanta, actually, more headed right. It was the ATL. Okay. okay. I knew it was somewhere. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it was somewhere where you could easily be a trial. Well, go Houston, to Atlanta, yeah. Miami. Just check, you know, just check, check the Adam's apple when you go to Atlanta. Oh. You know, make you, sure you that you... You to check them. They shave them off. Shave them off? But I mean, but you know, it's, you know, to me, you know, I, I want to go. I have some friends out there. I want to go and I want to hang and I want to eat a little bit. You know, I I just want to, you know, because I, I know Atlanta, honestly, almost like the back of my hand, pretty much. I've been so many times. I think I just want to go and just just chill, you know what I'm saying? I just want to take in some of, you know, some of the sights and stuff, just kind of reacquaint myself with the purpose of the city. Okay. You know, so I want to do that, you so know. So can you get some pics from the MLK? Yeah. Yeah. Where you going? You going you the best what? time? Because this is Black History Month. I'll just send them to you, Reggie, because I still got them all in my phone from when I went to Atlanta last year. Mm -hmm. well, no, I, I, I've been, gone. but I just want, you know, updated pictures. Cause, uh, we, Did they change something? No. Technology has changed. You get clearer pictures. <laughs> and then that's that's that's. Wait a minute. So you trying to say my iPhone 6 that I had last year wasn't going to have no pictures now? Well, that's not what I'm saying. When I took my picture, it was with a Note 2. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. So that was wow. the last time I was in Atlanta. I had I a Note 2. So I had a Note 5. That was the last time I was in Atlanta. I had a Note 5. I had an iPhone 6 a, for a years. 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 Mm. And I got it after it came out. The year after it came out. Mm. So, yeah, I've had my iPhone for a while. Thank God for grace and mercy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a person that's been to Atlanta. And I don't go to any of the historical places. Well, if you've been a lot, most people don't after a while. No, I ain't been Been to Martin Luther King House. I ain't really? been nowhere. I feel bad. Don't feel bad. I, my whole purpose of going to Atlanta last year was to go to the aquarium because it's the largest one. In I the mean, place. it is that's beautiful the, too. Though. That's the it's only really, reason really why nice. I wanted to go, and we end up doing, you know, all the other stuff yeah. too. But I, I like aquariums. I like museums. Can I tell you the very first time I fell in love with the ATL? It was the year 1996. Freak me? No. <laughs> and there, there, and there is a, a, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful organization by the name of the Justin F. Kimber High School Marching Band, oh, and really? it was, was it, band camp? it was our band trip. This one time in band camp, right? <laughs> one, time, one time in band camp. Every year, every year, Mr. Holmes would take the band to Atlanta, and I, I wasn't able to go for my freshman year. I wasn't able to go for my sophomore year. Junior and senior year, I you went. You went. Junior year, oh my God, we had so much fun. It was ridiculous. I got a chance to see fights between people that I never thought would ever fight. I seen breakups. I seen oh, people goodness. walking across parking lots with no shoes on just to beat somebody up over a boy. I, mean, I ain't gonna put wow. you on front. The silly too, things we did. Oh, the silly things that we did when we were children. And then, you know, let me tell you, you know where Martin Luther King is buried, right? And there is a pool around him. Right. I jumped over that pool, and I know ghetto Dallas shit, I know. I, I jumped across there, and I took a picture, you know, where the case is, in my black shirt and my orange shorts, because, you know, the colored shorts was in back in the day. So, yeah, I had my orange ones, my blue ones, my black ones, my green too. ones. I didn't do cross colors. I ain't like with that. all them colors in your clothes, you could have just put all them. Yeah, but I mean, together. but that's not cool walking around with your clothes looking like they on backwards. That shit was scary to me. It like Halloween cartoons. So I never really wore crisscross. I, I like you know just simple stuff. Take me to Redbird Mall and let a bitch. A you saying crisscross? I, I say cross colors. Cross colors. Cross colors oh. is different than the crisscross. Like I said I didn't even wear cross colors because the emblem on there was that damn big. Every time you turn around, you see a cross colors emblem that big go right here that big. Mm -hmm. Move on with your band story. We're not even going to go no, there. No, there's no more band story. Uh, because <laughs> you some had things, cool band some, camp, though. So, no, some things should just be left unsaid. I just okay. want to say it's when I first fell in love with Atlanta. I was okay. in a white band camp. Our band camp was on the football field in the heat of the summer because we had a white band director. And now them damn kids in Cedar Hill get to have cool band teachers in band camp. They all black. If you want to join the conversation, 214. I'm about that. 717-4827 if you want to talk to us uh, on today in live and make sure you follow and share this broadcast with your bad self but real quick let's go ahead and uh, let's 
I'm not really saying let's get this out the way, but let's go ahead and talk about Kobe Bryant real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you guys do know um, um, that we lost a NBA legend, his daughter, and seven others uh, in a horrible uh, tragedy, um, a helicopter accident. And so, um, of course, what they're doing right now, um, they are still investigating. They've given a whole lot of other facts and stuff like that as it relates to um, the actual crash. I just want to um, real quick just uh, talk about this kind of like not really deep, deep and, you know, digging deep in it, just keep it high level. Um, I just want to say, you know, first off, shout out to all the families impacted. You know, we want to definitely keep everybody in prayer and lifted, whatever you believe in, you know, shoot nothing but positivity these families way. I mean, the, all the families, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, I know that Kobe, you know, Bryant is who he was. He's an NBA giant. You know what I'm saying? We all know that. But, you know, again, let's keep in mind that a lot of people lost somebody that they love, you know. Mm -hmm. And so if anybody want to uh, got anything that they want to say about that, you know, just kind of giving some some condolences, some some good cheer or anything that it, way. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I, I, mean, I was doing, I was actually out doing um, the mimosa crawl with the reality show cast. And we were there, you know, just to have a good time. And my brother sent the text and he was like, Kobe Bryant died? And I was like, what? You know, of course, instantly, everybody on Google, you know, Google and trying to figure it. And I wasn't the biggest Kobe fan, you know? Like, I liked him for who he was. I wasn't a huge Laker fan or anything like that. But I was just like, oh, my God. It hit me just as hard as, like, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Prince, you know, Paul Walker, some people that I actually looked up to. And Kobe was great for who he was, yeah. you know, period. You know, so my condolences go out to all the families. You know, of course, the main focus everybody's talking about is is Gigi and Kobe. But again, like you said, there are a lot of people that lost, you know, family members and friends and, and close loved ones yeah, as absolutely. well. So absolutely, and you know what? And, and I and I, I Miss Shimmy sent an actual video with um, um, a couple of it was like well, maybe like a Kobe um, uh, memory video oh, yeah, that she sent. That. Let me tell you why I was like, really, Shimmy, when you sent that. The, that the worst song ever made besides C.C. Winans' voice. No what? joke. I don't like C.C. Winans. Oh, besides her voice was It's So Hard to Say Goodbye by Boys to Men. That is the worst song ever. That song, to me, keeps people in a depression. It keeps people sad. I'm just like, oh, my God. As soon as, as, soon as I heard it, It's So Hard to Say Goodbye, I was like, uh-uh, stop, like stop, it. stop. Can't do it no more. Because the thing is, I understand the, the purpose of the song, but you know, they could have found a, another song. Yeah. You know, they could have found another song to, hell, you could put Tupac on there or something. I mean, I don't know. But my thing is, is that, that when, you know, that kind of stuff, I just didn't want to see. I can't do that. That song right up there, that song is right up there with um, Missing You from Set It Off soundtrack. The song they play at the end with uh, Trey Dependent, Woman mm -hmm. Brandy, and mm -hmm. all of them. Mm -hmm. that, that song is right up there with. with with uh, so hard to say goodbye. Yeah. That and uh, Mariah Carey's Sweet Day with uh, oh. Boyz II Men. Them mm -hmm. three, yeah, them three. I ain't really got it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and don't get me wrong. You know, I know that some people, you know, when they have like their their loved ones memorials and stuff like that, you know, they pick a lot of slow songs, moving songs that kind of give them, you know, you know. But see, to me, you know, like in my family, my mom when my grandma passed, my mom was like, no slow music. You keep the music up the tempo because my mama like up tempo music. You know that's the way that we keep it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because because it's already bad enough that you have to deal with the darkness of it. Yeah. You know, but to keep me in my chair or whatever case it is, and I'm I'm feeling even lower. And and the the more you sing these slow songs, the lower I get and feel. You know, yeah. to me, I think music moves people. You know, it, yeah. it moves the, the 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 mindset and. And your aura, you know, and so I just be like, oh my God, I just can't take a lot of this, this music yeah. that y'all throwing up here. Just, just, just feel That's it. why I don't like going to funerals. I well, understand I'll go to it's a, no, mm -hmm. me, I'll, it, go I'll go, I'll go if I have to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and me, a lot of people say, well, you don't really cry when you go to funerals. You want to know why? Because I probably done cried 50 times before I even got there. And me, I am kind of a stronger person in my family. So I'm there to be that support system. And if I'm towed down and broke down, I can't help encourage you. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really, funerals, if I ain't got to be there, I ain't really got to be there. I'm not going to cry. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't go to funerals. Look, either. I don't even have to know you 
<laughs> to bust out and ball and hit. Oh yeah, I cry Sunday like that. I'm baby. not good. I'm I'm not I'm not the good support system because I'm a cry. I'm a cry like that was my best friend now, and I don't even know who that person's name is. I don't even know their name. Wow. I'm bad. Yeah, and I, see, I don't do well. I I go to wakes. I yeah, go to wakes. Yeah, but wakes well, or funerals. If y'all just go to them because you're supporting the living. Yeah, and that that's it. But funerals, if if I don't know you like that, and yeah, I'm, I, I go to the wake, and like my uh, my uh, LB, his mom passed, and she passed like two years ago. I went to the wake, and he was like, "Bruh, I need you at the funeral." I know yeah. you don't do funerals, but I need you at the funeral. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I go if I have I, to. I be there, and yeah, yeah but. Even family members, like if I if I don't need to be there, mm-hmm. they going to funerals. Let me tell you, I, I mean, you know, like, I I go to them because first off, you don't go to a funeral without going with one of your homeboys, any one of your homegirls, especially like if it's one of your homegirls because y'all gonna crack up during the whole freaking time. I'm gonna pick out everything, and then you know because everything's already so sad, there's no telling what you don't see. Oh yeah, and so you know, I them always hats. like I like the, the hats. This church has to be the hats, full with it, and then and then people that's gonna get up and say something that don't make no sense. Mm-hmm. You know that kind of stuff. I look for the funny stuff in funerals. Like it was this is this one lady, no joke. Uh, I had to officiate a funeral in Houston, and a woman she got up there and she started talking, and um, uh, I call her uh, my mom, but she's my my best friend's mom. It was her aunt. And um, uh, they kind of raised her like a daughter. So she was like cute. They started doing all this other kind of stuff, making sure you sit them down. So the baby got up there and she was like, you know, I know I have two minutes, but I'm going to have to go on and sing my favorite song while I'm on my mission, Lord. I said, ma'am, your mission is to have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mission. You wow. know, they didn't ask for you to sing. They asked for you to have remarks. Right. That's what that's for. Black people do that all the time. Yes. We always want to be extra at the funeral. Mm-hmm. Why we do that? I and it be the it be the most extra person that you didn't even like. You sitting over in your coffin like I couldn't even stand her. She <laughs> couldn't stand me. I don't Why? Know. My my sister, my flight attendant sister sent me a. She tagged me in a post this week, and she was like, "I ain't even worried about my funeral because I know these people gonna be sitting there talking about. It. She didn't even like you. Gonna stand up in the middle of the service. You sure right." You know what? Well, why do we do that though? I I try. I always figured out. You know, I try. Now this is one reason that I don't go to some funerals. Like if it's it's a, if it's a funeral of a person that I really didn't cut for or didn't care for that actually passed away, mm-hmm. I may go to support. You know, like maybe they say one of my friends or something. Yeah. If it's somebody that they connected to. But my thing is, I don't feel like I need to really go just because I knew you. Because if I didn't like you, I didn't mess with you or really fool with you in life. I mean, I'm damn sure they're not gonna do it in death. So I'm just trying to figure out why we even the go. The same people yeah. that the same people mm-hmm. that are on my RSVP list at my wedding are the only people allowed in my funeral. Because <laughs> they're the people. Are. I'm just, I'm just saying. Maybe you want people to do that. If you want to invite to my wedding, my child, make Christmas, my uh-huh. list. Right. Make, yeah. your list. Yeah. make a list. Make a list of who you want because you want to know. There ain't gonna be but about half a dozen, maybe a dozen. Right. Because those are the people that you like fool with. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the people that you fool with. That's the people that fool with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The rest of y'all just going, like you said, to crack a joke to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. And that's why you want to invite it to my wedding. Now, wow. Now, what? Now, everybody plays a different role at funerals. So you have, like you said, you got the ones that talk a whole bunch of stuff that don't make no sense. You got the people that want to sing and extra. So did, what is your role usually when you go to a funeral? I'm a cut up. You, you, you don't I'm a cut up in the strong one. Like, because I'm going to talk about you real bad. Ooh, real bad. I'm going to talk about you real bad. Don't let that repass. Real Not bad. be at the church. Oh, oh, real oh, oh. Wait real till we bad. get to any house. Just wait till we get to eight and a half. What about you, Mo? What, what's your role at a funeral? Like, what, what role do you usually play? I just, was, I just go to funerals to support the living. I don't go to laugh at people. No, no, I'm just saying. There's all, everybody has <laughs> That's what I, I just go to support, and I'm the one to clean up with the, you know, at the mm. end, I clean up the food and stuff. Mm. She the help. She the support system. I'm the help. Okay. I'm the maid. You're the crying. Is you rolling on the floor crying? You know how you got the people rolling on the floor. I go through a whole box of Kleenex crying. (laughs) Well, 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 damn. Oh my God, that was that was tickled. Take me to the next funeral. I know, I know. Because I want to be all lines. Y'all looking so 
Oh, so she didn't even no. know this lady, didn't like this lady. She just <laughs> talked about her shoes and this casket. Yeah, and, no. and you over there just tore up crying. Yeah. Oh, what? Why are you crying so hard? But you know, she. I just, because I, I feel sorry for those who didn't Is it a mixed people thing? Because my niece still cried too. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's just wrong. You know, I'm just saying, oh. it's a mixed people thing. Because my niece, like, she's a crier. Oh, mixed Happy people birthday, cry. Naomi. It's your birthday today. She's not but, paint. What you mean? Don't say mixed. Okay, hair green. What you call it? Like purple. No, you don't say that. Okay, what are we saying? Half breed, biracial. No man, half. What is we saying? What is we saying? What is we saying then? Give me the correct. Give me the PC term. What would you prefer? Mixed question. Hello. 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 Okay, because when people ask that person, they be like, what, are you, what is she? I'm like, she's human. Of course she's human. And you, don't, and you only mix paint, so don't use mix no more. I say it all the time. Oh, okay, let today be the last day. So, it ain't so, going to happen because I got, so I got a niece and two nephews that are, that are biracial, and I say mix biracial. Just biracial? Just biracial. Okay. No. Because you don't Look, know what they're biracial. Are any of us really biracial? No. I'm more like tribe, multicultural. Yeah, we yeah. Like multicultural. Yeah. Hell, I'm American, so uh, I don't even want to be that sometimes. And half the time, I don't want to say I'm human. These there, I'm an alien because some of y'all people on this planet got issues for Look, real. Look, you know what? My mother was born in New Mexico. I'm right there in Roswell, so who knows? <laughs> oh, yeah. see, see, you see. you have something you want to say? Oh, no, nah, I was just going to say, on your road. Yeah, well, oh, uh, I, on my road, you no, no, I'll yeah. go, I'll go, I'm, I'm the one that, that usually has the, the plan and it makes you feel good, oh, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you sitting next to I me. I can say Reggie every funeral. Oh, yeah, because, you know, because, you know, like I said, my LB, his, his mom passed, like, he was like, you need to, come on, let's go here. Oh, no, I probably, oh. don't, I probably don't need that either. You seen me on, on your good stuff. I was I yeah. was out of that mug. Yeah. I've been sleeping. But no, I, 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 I made sure that I take mm-hmm. care. Because look, I'm sorry. You need a little liquid courage. You need a little decent. You know, you need to be desensitized just a little bit. I get just you. a bit. Mm-hmm. Just a bit. And so now I'm not gonna get you sloppy or nothing like that. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna make sure you know get you at a level where you can focus and listen. Anything out of your bag gonna have anybody sleep. I don't see how you can put anybody in a sloppy situation with the stuff that you get out. Right. Look here. <laughs> Just because you a lightweight. I'm uh, not a, and that's you, the thing, I'm not a lightweight. But I had a half a piece of that hob and I can't even have spicy stuff. Reggie was trying to kill me. But it had habanero and something. Spicy. Yeah. I can't have spicy food. It was period. habanero well, and pineapple. Spicy food, but no, you can't it was have a, it was a gummy. It, it was, was habanero a- and pineapple. So it was like oh, a little gummy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and this, I was, y'all saw the picture. I was out of that thing, okay? Out Kill of it. Half. Yeah. I had popped, like, I had popped like three of them. That's oh. tall. Yeah. Oh, there you go, my English. Tall. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That red, don't, red, you can't pass out. No good. Okay. So, so, so let's, let's, again, we, we took this conversation to a whole other <laughs> yeah, place. Yeah, but again, uh, RIP Coach Brian, you know, daughter GG. And to everyone else that passed away, you know, um, again, we, we uh, are praying for you guys, and especially the city of Los Angeles and Philadelphia, because he was from Philly. Mm-hmm. And so um, we're definitely praying, uh, you guys. Let's move on real quick. Uh, so some, some great shit is about to happen. Drug testing for food stamps may be soon coming. Damn right. So, so, so for us who don't do no, no weed or no drugs, can we get some food stamps? No, because we got real drugs. That ain't, that was not the stipulation. Here we go. (laughs) This, this article comes from cbsnews.com. The Trump administration is considering a plan that will allow states to require certain food stamp recipients to undergo drug testing. No, certain. Certain. Okay. Mm, That's interesting. Handling a win to conservatives who... Who've long sought ways to curb the safety net program? <coughs> okay, uh, let me skip down here real quickly. Let me see. Let me get a little, little piece of this real quick. It says a proposal under review would narrowly uh, be targeted applying to mostly people who are able-bodied, without dependents, and applying for some specialized jobs, according to the administration official brief on the plan. So basically, what happens is, is that it says roughly five percent of the participants on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program may be affected. 
Okay, so let's talk about this real quickly here. Now, Trump, of course, this is this is something that's coming from him. He wants to basically, anyone who's single, have no children, you're able-bodied, and you're applying for technical jobs in this workforce, you should undergo a drug test if you apply for SNAP. Good I'm, or bad? I'm for it. You're for it? Because, and, and the reason why I'm for it is because my thing is, if you got money to buy drugs, you got money. Drug so dealers take me. food stamps. If you, no, no, no. But they, you don't think, do if you, right. But my thing is, if you can go out and you can buy a gram, a pound, a week, you know what I'm saying, of drugs or whatever, or whatever you snorting and, sh snorting and shooting and all that kind of stuff, you can buy groceries. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So you must not I, have, so you must not have no food stamp hookup. Is that what you're trying to tell no, me? No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I got plenty of food stamp hookups. I, I mean, because that. we got to but, make sure that the hookups stay intact. But the thing is, the people that this is targeting <laughs> is going to be urban Americans. Mm -hmm. Trust well, of course, me. Of course. So my, of but course. again, it's going to be those people on opioids. I mean, but it's going to it, it, it's going to mostly affect poor white families. Right. It, but but that's what affect. I'm saying. If you ain't out snorting <laughs> shit. You can take that $10, $15 and go buy you a loaf of bread. But, you know what? Here's the problem. That a loaf of bread? Yeah. yeah. Oh, honey, you, you can know buy a loaf of bread. No, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying you can go out and buy a loaf of bread versus snorting something up your nose. But here's the problem with mm -hmm. drug testing. With the exception of weed, most drugs, because they are synthetic and they do not do well within your body, they're in and out of your body within 36 hours. Mm -hmm. 36 to 48 hours. So that means that on a Friday night, you could toke up and you could snort, shoot up, and do all you want to, and then... Be in the food stamp line Monday morning. Mm -hmm. and, and pass the drug test. And then, too, my thing is, is now, is, is who's going to pay for this? Mm -hmm. Because... Me, the person that ain't got no kids, got to pay everybody else. My taxes... Pay for this damn program. Saying, and, and then my thing is, you know, if, if we're going to be doing something like this, or whatever the case is, can we get more to our veterans? Can we get more to our elderly people? Can can we can we do something like that? You know, because you there's going to be a whole surplus too. of money that's mm -hmm. going to be sitting there. You know, because you know, like like for example, like if I apply for food stamps, I, I I'm a man, I'm able-bodied. Let's say if I wasn't working, nothing like that, my minimum is two hundred dollars. They'll give men more than they'll give women. Yep, and for three months, right? For three, yeah, for three months, you, you, you can get them, or whatever the case it is. And so, so you know, so if you think about, like, somebody like me, or whatever the case it is, they will have to actually apply for food stamps and actually get them. Think about a whole lot of people out there like me, or whatever the case it is, and all this, this $200 here, 250 $300. You know, where is that money going to be? And who are you going to give it to? I'm right. saying what they're going to do with it. They're going to spend it on wars. Because they can, they can always, it's funny that, oh, we can't afford to do this, and we can't afford oh, to do this. Of course. Yeah, exactly. Of course, yeah. Of course exactly. Is. And that's, that's where it's going to go. Mm -hmm. So it's going to create like, more veterans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that aren't going to be able to do anything. Yeah. So it's like you, you want to go to war, but then you don't always take care of these people because you're only looking at, at the bottom line trying to stuff your pockets, you and your friends' pockets. Right. So it's like, yeah. you know what, I'm I, I, I say this. I, I am not, I don't consider myself a Republican or a Democrat, but I understand one thing, that greed and evil always follow money. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. So mm -hmm. you want to find out where the evil is? Follow, follow the money. Period. You can find a whole bunch of stuff if you just follow the money. Yeah, so, I follow my money. Well, listen, real quick, it's break time. <laughs> So okay. I'm going to take us to break real quick. Uh, Montana, our break's going to be five minutes apiece. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, we, since it was supposed to be like the love connection that we were supposed yeah, to be yeah, doing yeah. today, all our music is con love connection related. Kind of. Kind of. Sort of. Sort of, kind of. So first couple of songs, we're going to do, and my bad, when we come back, uh, we're going to find to further find out what else is going on in my mind. We're going to talk about some uh, scenarios that are not articles that I want to discuss with my crew. Uh -oh. The first scenario that I think I want to talk about is how do you work with people you don't like? Oh, very difficult. So we're going to definitely talk about that when we come back. And a couple of songs we're going to listen to. That's the shit by what the girl name is? Sasha Keeble. Sasha Keeble. Thank you. Don't know her. Check her out. Sasha oh. Keeble. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'll check her out. I like the name anyway. 
and freak me by silk. Oh, we'll be right back. That's Reggie P. I don't. When he said, and my pig. When he said, and my pig. freak me, you see how it, quick I put them eyes like, freak me. You this said, is, this is a bomb. Now, I like Silk up until that there's a meeting in my bedroom. I that cannot song actually stand, came on my iPad. I cannot <laughs> stand that CD. Why? I, me in my bedroom got played out. No, I'm angry. Like, your eyes got played out, out though. Head. Okay. That's because you was playing it. Yeah. And everything they going on. Yeah. <laughs> my, my roommate in college. I, I love you, Deborah. I love you, but but you I guess that was me. your song, your your album. Every time that, you that, that was the door. What was no, it? What, what he called the, that's the, what, that's the what get what the draws no, mixtape? No, <laughs> that's what he played when him and his girlfriend broke up, and he 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 had that whole a breakup. He had that whole CD on repeat, and he kept in the morning, every morning. He would play There's a Meeting in My Bedroom over and over and over and over and over again. I'm just like, dude, if you play this song one more fucking time, I actually took the CD and broke it. I was about to say, that's what I would have did, because that's really But he kept, he kept taking, see, the problem was, he would take the CD with him and then listen to it in his car. Then he'd take oh, the CD out and he'd put it. Why didn't he just start more than one copy? That's what see, but, people did. No, ah. but you got to remember, this is back in the late 90s, early 2000s. So... You know, everybody had Columbia Music Club and, and what was the other, you know what? That's what I'm saying? Like you could get never 12 CDs them. for and one set and yeah. just start and up new accounts them. every time. And never Come played on, them, huh? I remember this dude bought me TLC's album. I can't remember which Crazy one. Crazy, sexy, cool. No, yeah. not that one. Wasn't that one? Mm-hmm. It was their last one, actually. Um, the one with the whole digital thing going. Oh yeah, yeah. Fan mail. Yeah, yeah, fan, yeah, fan, fan mail. mail. Oh, look, the TV. first time, look, 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 let me just tell it. The first time I caught him fucking around, I smashed that CD. That was the first thing I did. Why did he do that, though? Like, the shit that pisses me off is I tear up the stuff that you done gave me when I really like the stuff that you gave me. I, I you know like what I'm saying? No, I don't know what that is. I don't understand is. why y'all tearing stuff up here. Look. Like when you done with a dude, you break Look. your CDs that he no. gave you, you get rid you of the teddy bears that he gave you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I stopped doing that. If I ever got an expensive gift, I'm not breaking my shit because you don't. No, no, no. We didn't say expensive gifts, baby. We don't throw yeah, no. rings and all that kind of stuff. CDs stuff. were expensive. Do you know how many damn times you put, at that time, $15.99 your gas tank? Do you time? know how many CDs that mother burned for me? Right. Some of them. That, that was all people. in the time period of burn CDs. Like you can get rid of all that. You can buy a whole stack. And what's the prize? The whole thing and burn them and sell them. Ain't nobody got time for all that kind of stuff. No, ain't nobody doing that no more. Nobody doing that in life. But yeah, we tear up our own shit. And then I got older, and during a breakup, I learned how to tear up shit at his house. You ain't tearing up nothing at my house. Don't break, don't don't break up with me at my house. And now in the technology world, like, what do we break up at? Text, text messages. No, I honestly, you know what? I keep stuff to remind me why. I ain't fucking with you no more. <laughs> you, you pissed off every time you look at it? Mm-hmm. So y'all aren't friends with your ex? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm talking about the bad, the bad breakup when people do you dirty. Let me tell you something. If, if, if your relationship was so good, you wouldn't have broke up. So it's always bad. You know what? No. Yeah. There no. are some people that do you dirty. Some, some relationships end because you're headed in two different directions. And that's okay. That's not because our adult you're, life. No, we talk no. about younger. I, I did this in my younger life. Where the relationships were. And we were, we were adult about it. And it was like, we just, this ain't going to work. Yeah, I agree. This not going to work. We, we can be cool though. Yeah, we can still be cool. But... And we went our own separate ways, and we're still cool to this day. But I'm talking about this ugly breakup, and it's just like, yeah, I keep all the stuff in a, in boxes. So I look at it's like even when I start thinking about maybe no, and I look at that box, no, mm-hmm. 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 Nope. nope, I don't look at. I you don't said have you a keep a memory box. box? Yeah, yeah. That's what he was I, I keep I keep a box so I, I can remember. So when because sometimes your memory get clouded. Mm-hmm. Sometimes your memory get clouded, and you, and you start thinking about all the good stuff, and you forget all the bad stuff. So you got to look at that box and be like, "Nah, bitch." Mm-hmm. I think about my all the good. Long, I think though, about so I, I all remember. the good stuff. My mind run long, so I remember uh-uh, stuff X, like that. I'm thinking about all the good stuff first because the good stuff. Uh, we froze. Yeah. No, you froze. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll fly when we come back from break. Don't jip me up my words. 
Okay, all the kerfuffle. Thank you. <laughs> when we come back for break, hey, make sure you check us out on YouTube and our Facebook page, and you can see what happens behind the scenes. Cause uh, Reggie, a whole fool behind the scenes. Oh, I'm wow. just saying, wow. don't get solid. I don't even. I don't even keep. Look, I don't want to keep no damn memory box. I, I, I. You know, there was a time when I did. You know, I kept okay. the cards. I kept the letters. I kept the, you know memorabilia but at some point in time I realized there was there was a lot more heartache that was attached to those things and I had to let them go and now that doesn't mean you know it ain't still in my head it's not still in my heart trust me y'all see my shit you think about it Liz when you ain't got I, nothing I got to a purge through. I got a purge but see and this is the thing I put it in the box and this is why I put it in the box so I put the feelings away in the box it's, it's gone but sometimes they start, you get, you have memories, and they start coming back, and it's like, oh, I miss this. Those warm, and I miss fuzzy memories. Yeah, yeah, and then oh, it's yeah, like, yeah, then yeah, I open yeah, that box. Yeah. Nah, bitch, you got to go. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, seriously. Yeah, seriously. I don't need no box. Because That's how I, I can sit there and think, just think of you, period. Like, if I could just think of you, and then all of a sudden you'd be like, it's that nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no box, because I have a very, very, very long memory, like you said. I, and, and I'm just like. I remember all the good okay. times he did this, 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 and then it's like, no, but he did. So you know what I'm saying? I don't need no See, physical. See, I, now I do have a problem with you know my good memories tending to sometimes cloud exactly. those bad memories. And that's no, exactly and that's what I'm saying. They cloud it, and then I think of the bad part right there. But this but is an interesting wait, conversation. Wait, why don't y'all do this? Just a suggestion. Just just let it go. Not everybody's good feeling. Oh, no, 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 you, yeah, yeah, you. I don't have that emoji. Yes, you do. 21, 21 days, we're going to let it go. 21 days, we're going to do something positive. We're going to let it go. You're going to let go of that box. You're going to let go of them thoughts. Because they occupy too much of your time and energy. If it occupies at least two or three minutes, that's two, two or three minutes, you're going to cuss somebody else out or do something else. Cuss somebody else. But no, no. I'm going to cut them out for them two or three minutes. No, the best way to hurt somebody is to not think about it. True. So. Amen. Out your mind. Out your box. Let's burn your box. Let's have a burn your box. Burn your memory box day. Because you ain't going back to them chicks anyway because they hold out. They they, they got 2,000 different children by 2,000 different men. Ooh, they so broke they broke down and they weave ain't good. So what, what? I'm telling you. Ray, do you like your weave? Well, they got weave. They may not have had weave now, then, but they got weave like, now. Like wow. Girls. So wow. he likes to run his fingers. You know, it don't matter. He, he already said it don't matter if you're black. Hair. I'm sorry. He said it don't, don't matter what kind Whether it's a weave or my said, natural hair, don't touch it. He said he just wants a woman to look good. So if you're good with weave, you're good. You're good with natural, you're good. But just take the burn the bomb. I say burn the bomb. And I'm not speaking. I'm speaking. You not, come use my fireplace. I'm not speaking. She got a good fireplace. No, I'll be burning everything. Like she got a good fireplace. Fire. Have you seen you her put, fireplace? It don't matter. You put it in the middle and you torch it and you see it go up. You want like a bonfire. Just my, my, my but what I'm saying is, yeah, yeah. Like, like, I, like, like, I, I, I love the way she's hell fire. You know why? Because she lit the cigarette and did like that and walked the fuck off. I love that fire. And then you can go, you can use one of your cigars. You know, But y'all, this and I'm not saying this from what I heard. I'm telling you from what I know. And I'm older than y'all collectively. If you had all y'all ages up, I'm still older than y'all. Older than you. Ain't that what your grand say? Older than you. What I want you to do is know that. Yeah, stuff happens. Yeah, stuff ain't right. Yeah, they messed over you, but yeah, they gone. They gone. They I gone. swear to God, y'all. As, as, as I'm sitting here, I'ma tell you. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not telling the the, the the kids I had, the brain tumor I had, the mama died, the daddy died, my dogs died. Um, the one attorney. I got three different pieces of property in three different states, and I got screwed out of all three of them, and I'm fighting them. But guess what? It's a good day. Yeah. If they take the properties in Nashville, guess what? They took the properties. I can still touch their whole ass. Mm -hmm. I can do that now. But I'm just saying, but how <laughs> you going to force somebody to let that go and you going to cuss the whole ass? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you, you just got to get it out. It's on different levels. I'm letting her know because she watching. Oh. Let's hey, move on. Let's hey, move on. Hey, okay. Okay. Hey, 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 before we, before we go into, before we go into our, my, my crazy mind real quick, or further into my crazy mind, let's keep in mind 
the, uh, let me, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna say this right now. The coronavirus is under review in Dallas, Texas. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, so I'm what up happens in here is, coughing and everything. And, Keep your ass over there. So, <laughs> so what happens is, um, um, the, um, Ooh, there is a um, someone in Parkland Hospital mm -hmm. at this moment uh, that is under quarantine. That they are running tests for the coronavirus. Uh, real quickly here, I'm not gonna go through uh, all this stuff uh, regarding the coronavirus because we do know that there is an international watch for the coronavirus. Most flights with American have been canceled. Pilots are fighting I mean, flights. All with, of them from China the, have the, been canceled. From, from China have been canceled and pilots are from other airlines are demanding that their airlines stop flying in and out of China. Okay, people are actually going on strike. Please. People are not doing this. So this is very serious. Hang on real quick. Tips to avoid the flu because it, it was what I'm telling when I'm what it sounds like is that it starts off like the flu virus. Plane prices are gonna go up, just so y'all know. Okay. So <laughs> tips to avoid the flu. Uh, get a flu vaccine. It says every season. Mm -hmm. and this comes from NBCDFW.com. So this this is not these are not our views, but this is what it's saying here. Wash your hands often with soap and water. Please wash your nasty hands. Minimum of twenty seconds. Please wash Minimum. your nasty hands. We are we we have had a conversation about this before. Please wash your god dog on hands. It's twenty twenty. Hand sanitizer ain't gonna cut it. You go into that bathroom, you better. You want, I'm just saying that. People don't believe that. It's hand sanitizer. No. It has alcohol in it. Listen, 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 listen to somebody with, with the, the chemistry knowledge to break this shit down for you. Oh, okay. There is a difference between cleaning and sanitizing. Cleaning gets rid of the big stuff. Right. Sanitizing comes through afterwards and gets rid of the microbials. If you do not get rid of the big stuff, you can therefore not get rid of the microbials because the microbials will hide under the big stuff. So therefore, you have to wash your hands wash for 20 seconds. ABC song. Twice. 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 Well, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Twice. Yes. We say your alphabet twice. twice. Mm -hmm. Or the happy birthday song three times. So that's are we saying L-M-N-O-P or L-M-N-O-P? And that's why you have to do it twice. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's taken into consideration. Right. 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 Yes, and when we say the happy birthday song, we mean the generic version. Okay. Not the Stevie Wonder version, yeah, not the Stevie Wonder version, but the generic version. They might need to do the Stevie Wonder version. And That's a long. Version. Everybody doesn't know the Stevie Wonder version, so you have to go with the generic. The generic. Okay. Yes. So you have to get the masses. And I'm trying. I'm quite sure that you're not trying to figure out what birthday song you're gonna sing while you're in front of the mirror. That takes hands. 20 seconds just as it is. Which birthday song? I'm next, next right point. Now? It says, and this is another one. Cover your mouth and your nose with tissue when coughing and sneezing. Listen, you hand. see people walking around with the masks on. The Asian people not being funny. They just understand and know how germs spread. Okay, this is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Guys, listen, if you're sneezing, if you're coughing, anything like that, please have something in your hands. You know, I've seen a lot of people use their, their arms or their sleeves, you know, to avoid coughing on someone. And if you know that you're contagious, Find keep your way. behind at home. Thanks. You know, I mean, you just do that because you don't want to be around here spreading these these things. Um, my dad to go pick up, um, a friend of mine to go pick up his daughter because uh, about seven kids went home uh, with the flu. And, but the school, and that's another thing, parents, stay on top of these schools about what's going on with these kids. It should be no, I mean, absolutely asinine that if, if you send seven students home with possible flu symptoms, this should be a notification sent to parents. You know, you shouldn't be out here allowing your children to go to these schools, or whatever the case it is, and then they come home sick, but the school hasn't said nothing. So I just think that, you know, parents also be diligent with that as well. Who uh, didn't get no notification? They lying. Somebody. No. Tell them, tell them they lying. They lying. Tell them. Let's the only tell them. time I get notification is whenever it becomes, um, you know, if you have a multiple students. So, if, I mean, I would say seven students, that's enough to send home most of the yeah. students, especially if it's in one class. In one class. You get notification. Okay, so this is what happened. Are they in Texas? I get it. Yeah. I get, I get text Houston. notification. Okay, so Houston. when, when, when yeah. you drop them off at the door, if it's RSV, if it's pneumonia, whatever it is, they have to put a notice on the door, even if it's one kid. So okay. now check and see. Now check and see if there's a charter school. Now there's a charter school. Charter schools are completely. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. <laughs> too late there. Too late. So okay. I, so I know to call out three times this week just because mm -hmm. Sunshine that gave me some. Avoid touching your. This is important as well. Avoid touching your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. That's really really important. 
And also, if you're experiencing any symptoms, please visit your doctor as soon as possible. And um, like I said, you make sure that you can get you something to help you recover quickly. Um, I always say if you feel flu symptoms, make you a great hot toddy. If you need a recipe for my hot toddy, inbox me and I'll give it to you. We all want that. Don't get nothing from okay. Reggie and Q because you ain't gonna wake <laughs> up for three days. So wait a minute, the person is at Parkland. Yeah, Parkland Hospital. That's the best place for him to be. Me and Morgan. Excuse me. Because it's a um, teaching hospital. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's good. But at least let people know that the coronavirus does not come from drinking a case of Corona. If I hear that stupid shit one more time. Well, you have to let people just go. Just let them go. Mm -hmm. like, if I have to hear that go. one more time. Don't, don't, don't correct them. Just let it go. One more time. Yeah. All yeah. right. So let's move on real quick. So how do you deal with people that, so how do you deal or work with people that you don't like? Slap the shit out of them. No, you, you can't do that. Not Mentally. Oh. You just, you just show. work with them and so keep it going. Me mentally you only there. Them. You're only there for work. You just get it. You just it go on. It depends on the work environment, though, as well. Because I stay mad at people keep for a long distance. time at work. Yeah, I try to keep the distance. You but sometimes you can't keep your distance, if, especially if it's someone that you work directly with. I but think that's another reason why I mental. like the environment that I work in because you know I can go a couple years, I can go a whole decade without seeing some people. And that's why I like the airline business because it was a good flight attendant. Yeah, I, ain't, I, baby, when I say I ain't never had to work with her again, baby, I'd trade a trip in a minute. Yeah, it'd be something but it, that I get it, like, oh it depends on the environment. I'm glad, I'm glad I ain't got to see your face ever. Again. There's so many, but in the airline business, so many people, you know what I'm saying? Like, it took two and a half years before I got a, a trip with somebody I really loved. You know what I'm saying? And we have been trying to work together forever, trying to pick the same lines, match up, you know, match up our work schedules. But people that you don't like, again, it depends on the environment that you're working in. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's because, I mean, it's always good to have opposite opinions with people. You're not going to always agree with, a pe with people. You're not always going to like the people that you work with. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of harder to deal with someone that you are direct subordinate to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've been in those situations. Someone I'm a subordinate to, and I'm just like, I can't stand your ass. But I, I, I grab my union rep. <laughs> so, I don't so work for Let me ask a question, though. But let me, let me, me ask a question. Okay, but because, well, Mo, you can't really say that because, because think about it. Every day. Like it, it, it could be a job to some. But there are there are some people, like for example, like if I go to work and if I'm working for you, I may not like my job, but what I do is is turn it into something that I can be proud of. Because what happens at the end of the day, I can work with you and don't like you, but if I'm if but if I excel or if I'm being raised a certain way, I can leave you behind. You know, I always look at it as a part of my journey while I'm while I'm there. You and, know, and to me, this is this is where. You have to distinguish between a job and a career. Yes. Because yes. for me, yes. if yes. if I don't like the environment, I have a career base where I will turn you to deuce in a heartbeat. And mm -hmm. be like, deuces, I got my credentials, I got my work history, I got my knowledge base, I'm going to go find somewhere else to be. And that's the difference between a job and a career. Now, if you got a job, you got to figure it out and get your money. But I'm telling you right now, when you have a career, and especially the career I'm in, there are limited people that can do what I do. So you have options? Yeah, I got options. Yeah. And because, and this is the thing that people have to also understand about your career. You can build a career and stay in your seat. It's going to take you long. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to excel in your career, move around mm -hmm. to different locations, mm -hmm. build the experience, build the knowledge base, mm -hmm. and then after 10 years in, roughly about 10 years in, you can locate yourself in the city that you want to be because then you have the experience mm -hmm. and you, you're at the upper echelon of the people that they're looking for. Yeah. But you still right. run across people that you don't like. And again, move around. But, when you build your career up, you can move is, around really. When people say they don't like people and stuff, it's, you, you can't speak from an emotional point. And that's what a lot of people do. Okay. It's all about emotion. Okay. You know, you have people that just about, you know, I don't, I don't like her because she likes me. Really? 
I don't like her because she talks too much. I don't like her because of the oh. way she dressed. No, I'm not talking about Yeah, that's I'm not talking about So you got that. I don't know. And, well, see, that's what I'm saying. And then they base that on them. Or you're like, I don't like her because she do that. I don't like him because he do that. Come on, people. If they didn't do anything directly to stab you in the back. See, and that's what I was, that's my reference is people that stab you in the back. So if they stab you in the back for your job or something, I can understand that. Yeah. But all that other stuff. And this is, this is why I tell people. If you do not know how to archive your emails, I know that's right. Never ever delete an email. All right. Huh. Learn how to archive your emails and keep them on an external hard drive that is yours. Or better yet, they got clouds now. I have my emails set up to back up on the cloud. Eighty nine thousand. And they cannot touch them because you can see oh. He logged in and he has this mm-hmm. this, this mm-hmm. cloud account that's backing up mm-hmm. his hard drive. You can't touch it because mm-hmm. you don't have a password. And if you use the password to them, it'll lock it. And mm-hmm. I get a notification every time. All the places I work at, anytime yep. somebody try and log into one of them accounts, I get a text message. Because mm-hmm. that means they done got on my laptop, which IT can do. They can have access to the laptop. Mm-hmm. And then they, they can't get into them account because I don't say the password. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, and I'm gonna tell you, you know, also what I think I, I have to agree with Mo um, uh, when he talks about uh, the the uh, emotional piece of it, you know, with certain things. But but the, on the flip side of that is that sometimes if you working with somebody that that you know don't like you, but you can feel the tension of 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 their work ethic or their or their I guess you said the manipulation of the situation that they're trying to get at you. You know what I'm saying? There are people designed in our lives to be snakes, whether there are snakes that you can see or whether it's a snake that you can't see. Right. You know, I always believe that that you know, again, that we we all are on a path to doing certain things. But see, sometimes people really do make your work environment hostile. Mm-hmm. And and I'm saying I know the words is hostile, but I'm saying hostile in the fact that. Um, Sometimes you may have to go to mediation. Sometimes you may have to say, you know what, we need to get together and have a conversation because, bro, I, I'm about to, for real, I'm about to go inside your head, you know, and I'm really, you know, like like um, uh, Mark said here on Facebook, you don't let anybody mess up your money. You know, yeah, right. you know, you can't right, let right. nobody mess your money up at the end of the day, your insurance, you know, you probably got family, children in college, whatever you got going on, you always want to be able to try to be dignified. But see, people... There are some people who will actually take you and be like, you know what, bro? Yeah, you know, you, you got one more time, you know. And I'm that type of person that I I pride myself on not jumping off the fly too quick. Right. But see, I'm not gonna let you keep poking at me too many times because that's gonna be irritating, and I don't like nothing but, poking. And at this me. is this is how I've been in those situations. This is how I shut them down real quick because they can't like, especially when it comes to they cannot challenge me because they didn't get their way. So they'll try and manipulate the situation. And I'll tell them real quick, look, you losing this battle as far as regulations and policies and procedures go. So mm-hmm. you losing this battle and now you throwing a chance of like a child. So you got two options. Right. You can either do it my way or we can step outside. Either way you're gonna lose. Mm-hmm. But these are your options. Did you throw a hand at us? Well, I, no, I give them the option. I mean, so it's not a threat. Your choice is your choice. But I'm gonna give you the option to make the decision. Either way, you're going to lose. But look at it like this. Just look at it like this. Hey, don't get loud. Don't get loud. That, that's the oh, other thing. You gotta stay quiet. Just, you gotta look at it like, what if their their reply, their response to you has nothing to do with you? Mm-hmm. That's why I, I give them the option. Oh, no, 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 no. Make no, your no. choice. No, it up. Life is so complicated. That you can be dealing with a, mm, a person, and you do something or they do something, and it ain't got shit to do with you, because they got so much stuff going on mm-hmm. that them six, seven, eight hours is just a six, seven, eight hours for them. Even when people are at their jobs, they're still doing other stuff. Mm-hmm. So I mean, because I walk down the hall and they be like, "Well, you didn't speak." I said, "Bitch, I didn't see you. Trust me, I didn't see you because I got more going on in, up here." And you know, I'll be, I'll do the, "Hi, how are you?" And then, like my girlfriend said, she's like, "You ain't hear nothing." I said, "No, I didn't, cause I'm thinking about something else, but I'm trying to portray that. Oh, hey, how you doing? And I can't, cause really, I'm on one thing. 
But see, Mo, I'm thinking everybody is referencing. It's it's not that, but it's it's more so when you get attacked by somebody. Attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah when, you, when you get because, attacked yeah. by somebody. somebody coming at because you. Because you got so, like, it, I can only speak to call center. Because call centers, they got a lot of mess going on. Mm -hmm. And it ain't got nothing to do with being attacked. I mean, maybe it's because they're having sex and stuff in the call center. So. Mm -hmm. It is too many. It, it's yeah, don't work at the Carlson hospital. environments are, because I feel, they're you know, I, they're very The hub for STD. And, oh, oh word, word, for word, word, STD. Word, word. That's a whole other topic, but call yeah, centers are airport. different. <laughs> right. Right, right, right. I was right. Like, you, mm -hmm. you the airport? But. The rental car place. Uh, is uh, that why the flights uh, are delayed? Because y'all having sexual. Anybody got time for that? But <laughs> call centers are different. Like me. I love, I love where I work. And mm -hmm. the reason why I love where I work is because. I like interacting with people, even though customers get on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? So for me, a lot of people have asked, why haven't you gone to funding? Why haven't you done this department, this one? I like collections. And I like collections because I like people. You know what I'm saying? Not every customer that calls in is bad. So you like taking people calls is what you're saying? No, I'm not. No, I just like people, period. Even before I even worked in the repo department. I worked in just regular, you know what I'm saying, regular collections. Because Lord, how people, I'm a comedian. I know people, I know no, people no, no, don't no, like I'm you. I'm a comedian, so that's, that's the highlight of my day. But <laughs> it's like, wait, like, Oh, my work? God, she right. said that's the highlight of my oh day, my taking the same car. I feel you. No, I didn't say that. I feel you. It's a girl. It's a girl, and I'm not going to mention her name. But it's a girl that did not like me, and she told me she didn't like me. She's like, because you think you know everything. For See, one, so I, wait, wait, wait. I've worked every part of collections at my job. So mm -hmm. if I get an account that you worked before me and you did it wrong, I'm not I'm gonna come to you to help you before your manager come to you and write you up. Absolutely. And she took that the wrong way. Like mm -hmm. I, I know what I'm doing. Just because you worked in repos, this department for five years and haven't done nothing and I've only worked in it a year, you see what I'm saying? But again, I've worked every department from Zero days past due to 500 extra, you know what I'm saying, past due. So I'm coming to help you. I'm sorry that you took it the wrong way, but if I came to you and said, hey, this account did da 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 da, and you should have did this, 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 because I just got the call. Don't take that the wrong way. Well, yeah, okay. I'm going to take that the wrong way. You know why? Because you ain't the manager. Yeah. Oh, and and we're going to go to but break. But your manager going to write you up. That's okay. Yeah. And we're going to go to break. Uh, we're going to listen to Bed by Jay Holiday. Oh. And like that's that what it's made for Usher. Ooh, wow. man, that's that marinate song. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> the marinate song. What did we make? Marinate. Let it marinate. Listen, listen, listen to the song. I I like that song because that's the song I picked. <laughs> listen to the song. <laughs> What's your version of marination? That, that's when you stew in it. Marination. That's what y'all call it. Marination. I like stew that. In it. That's stir, sir. No. Stirring is. But you said this is stirring too. No, no, no. This no, is churning. No, stirring. Like butter. No, stirring. Is. He said he wanted it stirring or something. When I think of stew, I just think of beef skips and okra and all that. Like, and, uh, that's, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying because it's so thick. Oh, okay. You gotta. Yeah, it's mm, you gotta put some cheese. She got thick marination. No, it, it, that, that's that. I got you. Got to break this down for me because okay. your stew, your stewing is when when you when you stew something that's thin, it's it's, it's thin. It's real quick. You whip it around, stirring, stirring. stirring you whip it around real quick. When you got a stew, you got to take it slow because you got to get all of it mixed yeah, up in there churning. together. Churning with butter, you got to go slow. You don't whip you, butter like that. You, gotta, you, you churn butter. You got to get in there and do it slow, you, and that's the marination. You got to get it all in there. You got to get hit. Get all the corners. You know when you stew that pot and you got to scrape the edges and get all the edges, make sure everything get mixed up in there well? I don't know. Yeah. I, I, you was at my show. I've dealt with nothing but little penises for nine <laughs> years. You know we've had this conversation, so I don't know nothing about no stewing. I'm out of practice for a stew pot. She said little penis. Oh. For she said nine years. Penis. Little ones. She said little penis. They get in, get out real fast. They let the air do the work. Air, air. Y'all know the air. You know how you get the chill and just be like, mm. that's the air. That's the air because it's in and out real quick. So you let the air do the work. She said little penis. That's that stuff that leaves you. What do they call 65 That's what I'm saying. That's what you get. I would love for a churn style, stew style type situation at this point in my life. I'm grown enough now. Actually, 
actually when you when you when you when you do it right when you do it right you get all the walls and you you, you open it up real quick a little, and you pull a up. little penis man yeah. can hit no walls none he can't hit the side that he enter he can't hit the back of the I mean, wall he can't you, you even gotta, hit the front it. of the wall i mean if so, you're looking at that again i i can't i can only speak for what i got i can't speak for nobody else true I can, I can only speak for myself. I'm just saying, I, I am in, I am overdue for a turn stool. You look, know, at this situation. point in time, Jimmy, look, be like me and demand dick pics with a tape measure speaking of, wait, ruler. Speaking of me messages, I got I one. Am, prior to any dating occurring, be like, you know no. what, I need evidence, I need proof. Sunshine, sunshine. I had not only a meat message this week, I had a whole meat check this week. And he sat there because he watched my show and said, Do, does this qualify? And this is a long distance. That's For the top of the table <laughs> to here is a very long distance. And who's been trying to get over there this whole week was me, except for the fact that my gas can is at a certain level and I need to stay up. But that is quite a distance and, and I'm not mad at it. And, um... Well, and also, what, what when, and we, I just we were talking about turning this through and you walked out. You I just want to say and reiterate this because I still find this to be an issue. Men that send dick pics do not send me a dick pic with you sitting on the toilet. If you think people don't see that mess. Sitting on the toilet? Why do people notice that? And that's disgusting. Ew. I'm trying to figure out, dude, why y'all sending dick pics here? Hello, thank you. I thought I was the only one. I'm, why why are you sending dick pics? I need evidence. I haven't had one. I haven't had a dick. I ain't had a dick pic in a long time. But this meat chat situation was great, was very much guaranteed, and I'm good with it. This was this was a totally different I'm situation. I'm, I'm not right with it. I need I need proof. I need evidence. Can you guarantee that? I don't ever ask before you guarantee then. that it will work. So I'm I'm like this. I know what I'm working with, so I ain't gotta talk about it. So That's another I'm, thing. I'm like, yeah, if you worry about that, you don't need to worry about that. I don't worry about that. Sex so ain't that high on this. Look, I, I, I let, look, if if you worry about what I'm working with, mm. Mm, don't, don't worry about that, sweetie. I got you covered. I got you covered. He got you covered on the dummy. I'm he trying got to you. figure out why the fuck are we talking about this? Because we talking about Usher's marination in the this soup song, pot. Yeah, we this, talking this about song right here. This, this song right here. This, this, this song right here. This song right here. This one you get up in there. That's a whole elbow. Here, right here. Right here. Right. Like it's that. A, there you go. You get in there and, <laughs> and, you, and you, work, that. you work that and you work all them walls like you stew in a pot. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. A slow I'm, turning of the butter. See? And that now you get it. See? Not a slow turn. That's what I was telling you. I mean, your I, word I, was still my word was turned. I was trying to I mean y'all start talking about meat conversations. You know, I'm talking about stewing. You talking about meat conversations and how deep and that's tall the part you walked in on. We talked about a whole bunch of stuff and you missed it. You walked in. No, you just missed it. That's all. Go back and watch the rerun tonight. Oh my god. Well, that's what you get for walking out this, the door. This song is really, really cool. That, I've, uh, you know, Reggie you says know, school. Grown men I don't do true. a lot of things, Anikia. We, no, we no, realize Reggie that. Reggie says school, but I, I've always been the roller kind of guy. That works, too. Yeah, ain't that nobody riding no goddamn waves. No. Ain't no surfer. Oh, no, no, no. I'm that on works. top of the wave, goddamn. No, that, that works, too. I'm the on top wave of the wave. Works, the too. wave works. The wave works. Because you can move the wave side to side. But is it really? And you can really go around But is it really sexy for men to be doing this in the bedroom? But you going to be into it. And you and who's Stand by. You're going to be into it. Trust me. But is that really sexy? Trust. Have you ever watched yourself have sex in the mirror? No. You want to know no, why? Let me tell you, you why. Have it? No. Oh my God. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I, I don't watch myself. No, I don't watch I myself because lie. I have four loaves of bread. I, I know. Welcome, so back. Done. Welcome back. Welcome back. I am so, so done. Four loaves. So, so I am so done. I have an ugly cum face. That's just, just. Yeah, I got a horrible cum face. So again, <laughs> oh my God. Back, and if y'all, if 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 y'all want to hear and see what the world is going on, make sure you check out our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, uh, so y'all can Wait. our Spotify. Check us out on Spotify so y'all can catch no. all the behind the scenes. Cutie, this is not sexy in a mirror. That's not sexy in a mirror. That's not sexy in the mirror at all. What man wants to look or woman wants to see 
a mirror above her head in bed and she's like, look like she had a goddamn seizure. Nobody wants to see that. Period. And you know what? This is why. <laughs> and this is why. It, look, any 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 female I've been with, they they wonder. At some point, they always wonder <sighs> why when I orgasm, my head is on their shoulders. Cause I know I got an ugly nut face. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Cum faces I, are the no, worst. If you I, feel wow. good at what you do, your cum face is not sexy. Wow. This, this, if a girl got a cum I, face like this, it's like <laughs> she faking. Yep. She's straight faking. And Cause babe, my eyes go cross, my lips turn up. I want to suck my thumb when I'm finished. I. No, it's all no. There is nothing sexy about a real cum face. Real cum face. Or if she goes, oh, I'm coming. She lying. She lying. She no, is you lying. Can't, you can't. You can't articulate. You can't fake that. Well, no, no, no. I, I will. I will say this. In some situations. Porn. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. In some situations, the orgasm is intense enough where you can tell because the words and the body will match rhythm. Yeah, and and th- in that situation, you can, <laughs> and you can trust me, fellas. If you don't know when your woman coming, you got a problem. If you can't see my eyes no more, or they don't went straight cockeyed and crossed and stuff, that's the whole yeah. If you it's don't real. know when your woman is having an orgasm, that's a problem. Let's I faked I faked it for three years. Let's change the subject. I'm good. Mean. And again, this I all mean. this all comes from our off air, our behind the scenes conversation. So our people on Facebook, <laughs> y'all got all of it. Hold so. on, hold wow. on, hold on. Really, really true facts. Really true facts here. Uh, really true facts. <laughs> really true facts. I swear that's the same word, but okay. That's a reiteration. That now, is really true. True, true story. Come on. Most women do fake. Mm-hmm. A lot of times. Most women have not actually had an orgasm. And I just found out that there's only one type of orgasm. I've always said there's two types. There's vaginal and there's clitoral. Uh, clitoral, but there's actually just clitoral. Because as of 2005, they have found that the clitoris is more than just that little speck of skin He's underneath the hood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it actually is a whole mm-hmm. organ. That is not just external, but internal mm-hmm. as well. And this is why you got a stool. I'm, I'm, I'm like, cool with this stool right here. This whole stool, my, listen, sir, whoever you is in my inbox, if you don't stool, I don't want nothing else. You can join <laughs> us for the conversation, 214-717-4827. Again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and share and laugh and stuff with us. Uh, with this broadcast. Listen, real quick, like I stated to you earlier, on next week, we're going to be taking the day off. I'm giving my crew uh, the week off. We don't have to worry about our phone conferences this week or anything like that. that. Uh, no, it's not going to be a slip-up. Uh, they are going to, we're going to be off for whatever case it is, and I want you guys to enjoy <laughs> your off time because Saturday, February the 15th, is myself, my boy Reggie, and Miss Sunshine's birthday show. Yay! Yeah. It's our birthday show. I'm not happy about that. Ah, it's our birthday show. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Listen, if y'all know, y'all catch us for our birthday show. We at the complete fool. We're gonna do something really, really crazy. And Miss Shinny, I I have cooked up an actual battle for myself because I want to see how this is gonna go down. Miss Shinny and my girl Miss Tamra, aka Miss Peaches of Me Infuse Me More and Sweets, they will be going head to head in an Infuse Me competition. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. So, this is going to be the She's Nick. Miss Peaches already told me what she was going to make, and let me tell you, the sound of that that infused strawberry shortcake sounds good to me. I don't bake. Oh, I don't oh, I'm not oh a baker. My God. Now, strawberry shortcake is real good, and then she also, she's thinking about doing uh, the candy grapes oh, as yeah. well. So, you know. Can we get some without really sure. alcohol? We that's, 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 well, that's we all have not alcoholic stuff right now. We, 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 we already doing three things, right? You, don't, you, don't, you guys are doing your, your three favorite things, two of them infused, one, one not. that's not. Yeah. And so they're going to be battling out right here in the studio on Saturday, February 15th for our birthday. We're going to have a whole lot of fun. We're going to have a whole lot of laughs. And hopefully we'll have a little food to go with that. So, again, make sure you guys tune in and check out our birthday show. But next Saturday, again, February 8th, we will be out of the studio. February 15th is 
the birthday show for the Aquarius and the Pisces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of <laughs> course, of course, you know, keep in mind that we're going to be having more and great and fabulous things. I got something in the works for our spring break. Mm -hmm. So maybe there could be an MTG Kids show. All right. Yeah. Now, so think about that's that. the weekend I'm taking off because, you know, kids getting hot. Oh my. Now, 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 we talked about stuff coming uh, up. We talked about stuff coming up. Yes. So we have to mention that our uh, spades tournament. Spades yes. tournament. Yes, our spades tournament. So if you have not registered, go to our website, mastergas.com. If you need information, you can hit us on, on Facebook or Instagram to ask for more information. But if you hit our Facebook or Instagram page up, all you got to do is scroll a little bit. You see the flyer. But that's okay. Mastergas.com. Mastergas. all over mastergas.com. So we, we got you covered. But if you need any information about getting registered for the spade tournament, let us know. You gotta go ahead and get registered because I think we got we got quite a few people already registered. So teams gonna be limited. So if you wanna be in, you gotta go on and put up a shut up. Absolutely. Uh, and then in April. April twenty fifth. That's the space number, right? April twenty fifth. Okay. And then um April twentieth. No, April eighteenth. I'm sorry. April eighteenth is the Lupus oh, Walk. Lupus yeah, so walk. we're gonna we're gonna do the Lupus Walk on April eighteenth. So that's that's me, and I will take the short route this time. Yes, yes. <laughs> appreciate you. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take the short route this time. Do so I get I'm, a wagon? No, you know, no. I don't no. get a wagon. No, no. no. Uh, there are no there. Are, the only people riding in wagons out there are children. I'm re I'm riding a scooter. Just tell you right I now. I think that's like three hundred. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's three miles, right? It's not that long. It's not, it's, it's my a Fitbit, I keep telling y'all this, my, my Fitbit only allows me to walk two miles a day. <laughs> okay? My body is programmed to this Fitbit and it shuts down. When I hit two miles and this thing goes, zzz, my body shuts down and it's time for a nap. So if I fall out in the middle of this lupus walk, some water for that's you. why I say I need a scooter. Yeah. I'm gonna, mm, yeah. I don't want to increase my Fitbit, okay? You want to know why? You want to know why I don't want to? Because I like the size that I Lupus have. walk. Lupus yeah. walk. Now, <laughs> Lupus I, walk. I, I will say this, though. So I will say this. Off. Yeah. I will, take much I will say this. I know, um, and again, with the Lupus walk, if you're going to come out and support, that's great. But we got a fundraiser going on. So I'm doing a fundraiser on the Mass to Gas, Mass to Gas Facebook page. So we got that going on. You can support my team. Don't have a name yet. I'm waiting on Z to come up with the team name. So once we do that, we'll have the name. And I'll make sure that. But all the money will go directly to the uh, Lupus Foundation of North Texas. So, so the logo ain't going to be Reggie Say Fuck Lupus. Because we have children out there, mm -hmm. so there's children mm -hmm. out there, so we have to keep it PG, at least PG 13. PG yes. 13 about well, we'll put for hits. Yeah, so we'll, 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 <laughs> we'll come up with something, but yeah, I want to, uh, for those people that have already donated, thank you very much. Absolutely. That's some good stuff we're doing. Absolutely, and we can't wait. Um, uh, of course, again, the Lupus Walk, April 18th, again, the Space Summit, April 25th. You guys, make sure you pre-register for both events. Because for the lupus walk, we have to pre-register. Right, because, right. Uh, you can register on campus on uh, site. Uh, when we get there. And I'm telling you, it's a great and phenomenal thing. They have some great vendors out there. And maybe, you know, when we're out there, maybe we can, you know, talk to a few people while we're out there, yeah. you know, to encourage them or whatever case it is, the best way we can Hopefully to find prior to the walk. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm even saying, during the walk. I mean, yeah. during the walk is pretty cool, though. Yeah, yeah we, we talked to a lot. Of, yeah, we yeah. talked to a lot of people just having conversations with random people. Well, so. We're taking a swamp route because we're going to be out of breath. Well, I'm going to walk it. My sister has lupus, too, and she just kind of jumped on me on the, <laughs> on the live feed. Cause, uh, yeah, because so you're going gonna gonna to increase, increase that Fitbit. That's what you're going to do. No, no, no. It's still going to go off in two miles. Trust me. But I'll go on and walk it. Look, sister, I love you. For you and Reggie, I will walk the three miles as long as y'all buy me IHOP pancakes after this. <laughs> Next topic. Next topic. There you go. Next topic. From, from my brain to yours. Next topic. From my brain to yours. Facebook wars. Let's talk about it. Let's oh, talk Facebook about it. beef. Facebook I love wars. it. Facebook I live beef. for it. Facebook I live wars. for it. Okay, so check What's this that? out. So what happens is, and I guess I guess I'm everybody to pay attention real quick because people have been in my inbox, and this is no joke, um, asking me what was the deal with myself having this dialogue with a young lady, Miss Kim Kimmy, uh, on Facebook, or whatever the case it is. And if you guys want to see the thread, it's out there, so this is no big secret. So there is an actual meme that's going around. Yeah, I know. 
um, uh, that's going around right now with Erica Campbell and Miss Lawrence. If you guys don't know who Miss Lawrence is, Miss Lawrence is one of the guys that was a friend of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. He used to do, I believe, Phaedra's hair mm -hmm. and uh, Nene's hair. I mean, whoever he used to do. And then, of course, Tina Campbell, one half of Mary Mary, the gospel group, Mary Mary. Of course, Tina is the one with the red hair or whatever the case it is. So someone sent the meme to Mash Gas or whatever the case it is. And we turned around and we shared it. And we, in the caption, it says, the internet is undefeated, hashtag Mash Gas, entertainment, and all this good stuff. But at the end, it said, hashtag funny shit. Okay? So... People were laughing at it, whatever the case it is. And so Kim, Kim, Kim said it was tasteless. Her and I had a nice little back and forth dialogue. And so let me clear up anything real quick. And then we can talk about talk about it because I really, really liked how you know you guys opinion on it. So basically what happens is is that I I am one person, especially when 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 we all post, sometimes we don't know who posting because we all do post on our social media. So it's just not one person, okay? And so when I post, I look for different things that's going to make people laugh because we're already in a serious time as it is. And I'm serious enough. You know, people tell me to lighten up all the time. Even Miss Shimmy, boss needs to lighten up. You know, so I'm always serious, you know. And so I try to make fine things that's going to make people laugh, chuckle, whatever the case it is. And so the week before, I mean, last week, we put up a meme uh, that had an actual resemblance from Whoopi Goldberg to Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. That was funny as hell. Mm -hmm. yeah. But no one had a problem with that. Okay? But Lil Wayne ugly. Okay, but, Wayne. But, 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 but anyway, okay, however. So, so now that we have Tina Campbell, gospel artist, whatever the case is, compared to a gay guy with lipstick, they do look alike. Mm -hmm. It is funny. Mm -hmm. So, I guess Kim felt like she said, you know, that that was tasteless. To read all her comments, basically she was saying that she felt like that the actual presentation of the comment was not fit for a talk show. And that was in her comments. And also in her comments, she also said that the reason why she watches Mash the Gas is to support Mo. Now, that, and this is all out there, whatever the case is. And so my, my thing is this, you know, and I'm just being upfront not being catty or nothing like that, because she said it was catty. You know, no, and I'm going to address that real quick. Kim, what's catty is if I go on your page, pull your picture, find somebody you look like and post it. That's catty. That's petty. You know, I'm not a catty person. I, the post wasn't catty because we didn't create it. We shared it. Does that make us pretty much, you know, responsible for what we post? Absolutely. But it is for entertainment purposes. And so what happens is, is that, of course, the dialogue goes back and forward to wherever the case it is. And so my whole point was is that, you know, when a person says to me, you know, that they support me or wherever the case it is, because that, that's the only thing that stuck out to me. Out of, out of everything that was said, the only thing that stuck out to me was the reason why I watch your show is to support my friend, okay? That's completely fine because there are people that watch Magic Gas for all various reasons. So I'm completely okay with that. But... If you support, don't just support with your view. Like, when, but like, like for example, like yesterday, I, I received four requests for our new um, hoodies that we have out yesterday. Mm -hmm. They want to give me the money next week for it. Mm -hmm. Support me that way. And these are my friends. So I don't know how close Mo is to her. Or my friends ain't going to do that. Well, I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying. Well, that's, I mean, well, my, I mean, but my thing is, is that I mean, but but then that can't you can't say that that's your friend. Oh yeah. No, you can't. That's my friend. Not to me, because my thing is, is that there, the, hang on, there are certain things that I know that certain friends won't support you in. But my, but but at at the same time, where you decide to put your pesos is where you come in. Where you decide to put your money, where you decide to put your attention and your time, that's where you come in. Based okay. on, hang on, based upon. The fact that it was about Tina Campbell. Because that's what this was all about. A minister. I had a long conversation with a minister that's both of y'all Facebook friends. Mm -hmm. They know both of y'all. Yeah. She said, this is the reason why this was going on. She said, um, as a preacher, as a person in in the that has a ministry and all this kind of stuff, I look for, you know, things that, you know, people try to keep 
you know, uh, an opinion of being just one-sided. Like if it was something funny, it's funny. If it's if it's sad, it's sad. So a lot of people read between the lines of different things. And so, because I answer, you know, really quickly, you know, hey, tell me why this is disappointing to you. Because I want to know, is it because it's Tina Campbell and Miss Lawrence? Because last week, you didn't you didn't have anything to say, but you liked the post with Lil Wayne and Whoopi. And then you watch Greenleaf. You will follow Ricky Smiley. Did you see the post that Ricky Smiley did about Caitlyn Jenner? Mm -hmm. You like that post too. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to figure out mm -hmm. if 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 you're gonna be a friend to somebody, it's cool to, to to have your opinion and everything like that. But my thing is, is if you're gonna create an opinion that of, on something that really don't even matter, or whatever the case is, don't say you supporting your friend because of the post. Say you support your friend and then show that you support your friend because saying you support and showing you support it, it don't it don't mix up for me because I, I, I just no. I have issues with that. And I, I and just want to say that, that I didn't much see. care for it. I don't know either way anybody involved, but you know I just kept it scrolling. And kept that, it scrolling, and that that's exactly keep what it I'm scrolling. Say. If if you don't like something, and that that's fine because we all have our opinions. But to me, if okay, perfect example. Just like with uh, the whole little Boosie and the Kappa shirt, mm -hmm. right? To me, I scroll them when I leave. Keep scrolling. <laughs> or number number two, if you're going to have an opinion, if you feel like something is done in a distasteful manner, you why would you put the comments out for everybody to see? Right. That's what it. Hey, look. And when you when you really to me, if you really want to handle a situation, you really want to get heard. And not and be heard versus being seen. If you really want something to get to the bottom of it, you don't have to do it publicly. Pull people to the side and say, "Hey, you could have inbox. Hey, guys, I think this post was kind of tasteless. Would right. you mind like taking it down? Right. right. I feel this way about this post because whether you believe it or not, we've had posts put up where people have inboxed and said, "Hey, I feel this certain way about this. Mm -hmm. Do you mind taking it down?" It gets taken down, no problem. Hey, no issue. I'm done. But there's, and people have to understand this. You can have an opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. But the way that you address certain situations will also determine the response you get. Mm -hmm. Right. Because if you come at somebody too hard and loud, you're going to get a negative response every single Yep. Okay, so I agree with that. So that's why I got a negative response. Here's my friend. I've been my friend for 30 years. Mm -hmm. She is a friend. My right. definition of friend does not necessarily mean she has to buy a, a, a hoodie. And she will not. Thank you. But what it is is when you're dealing with social media and you're dealing with people, and the other young lady was Kimberly too, that was kind of weird, that when she said something, it's the response. You don't you don't berate and belittle people who support you by logging in, by sharing your posts. You don't. You know what you say? That's interesting. Do tell. Why would you say something like that? That's what you say. Mm -hmm. You don't go one in and that's why you got so many responses from your friends. But you don't do that. You don't go in and out. I got so many people, I'm like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I really didn't know that. I don't know what's going on. Yep, and they're like, why are they doing that? Why are they going back and forth like that? I was like, I don't know. What but see, I thought, I, I thought it, I was joking with her. Mm -mm. I mean, because because the next message she said, mm -hmm. she, I thought it was but, because the next because the next message I said when she said tasteless, I was like, well, you know, they do look alike, you know, and they do have the same kind of attitude, you know, the internet wins, you know, you know, and I and, and I wasn't trying to be funny. I was just I thought that was a funny, but she didn't take it. No, that way. because you were berating and belittling, and how even so? Then, I'm, I'm asking. I mean, tell me yeah, how. I'm I mean, I'm gonna finish. Cause okay. when I inboxed you and said just let it go, you didn't let it go. No. And you I continue. Didn't. And so you continue to feed it, and you continue to feed it, and I'm telling you, let it go. Don't do it. Don't do it. I was like, just let it go. Just what? let it. What? Y'all looking at me crazy. Right? Go ahead and finish. I'm, I'm, that's why I said just let it go, and you kept going. I was like, all right, fine. I, I'm, I'm out of this because. What I see is I'm on the outside looking in and I'm seeing comments that are belittling and berating. And if someone is supporting your show by logging into the app, watching it on Facebook, 
sharing it with other people and you're gonna dog them out, then why so would you they? Felt, so you felt like I dogged her out because of the way she came at me? That's why I said let it go. When I sent you that text, I said let it go. Don't don't continue this. Just just and you're like, why is she doing? I said just let it go. It's gonna be all right because we have how many people who view? We have we have a lot of people. And when you look at that, mm -hmm. when you look at that, you have to look at that one person is equal to how many people, according okay. to according to the internet and the statistics. That one person views is like 100 what 150 people think. So what you have to do is you just got to respond with interesting, really, oh, wow, why do you think that? That's all. That's all. I'm gonna try. And that's why I said that's all you got to do. I'm gonna ask y'all this one question. What color are these? One's lime green, the other one is green. Green. It's green. <laughs> right. Green. This, this, and this, this is my point. Oh, yeah, you do. This is my point. Y'all know it's logical. This is my point, right? So two people can see this and be like, Tony got something. Yeah, for the camera. Okay. Two people can see these and be like, both of them top green. Right. Q, you in a detail. One is lime green, this and this. Your opinion is coming from a different perspective, it's valid, but again, when you come at somebody harshly, you're going to get negative responses. It's going to be negative. My deal is this. Can we all say, step back and say, these are both in the green family, and move forward? Absolutely. I mean, that's what, you, that's what you're supposed to say. You're just supposed to say, oh, that's an interesting point of view. Right, and, and, and we, we all get caught, and I, I say that to Y'all say this as well, we all get caught up sometimes, but at the end of the day, the discussion, the beach, argument, and it's not just this situation, mm -hmm. just right. in, general, in general, right? what does it provide to move forward? Right. right. Especially on something that was so insignificant. Right. I mean, right. It's, right. A, it's a meme. Let it go. Right. We, we all need to just... Step back and let it go. So, with that said, going forward, you all have a problem with something we post? Inbox us. Yeah. State your opinion. Let us know. Or we keep scrolling. Or keep scrolling. Either way. Well, I but, get it all the time as a comedian. Mm -hmm. Like, I get dogged out a lot, you know, on my my topics of choice. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, everybody's opinion matters. For me, my thing is you can have an opinion about me because I do have people that have a opinions about me and, and like Q, uh, Mo said you don't have to necessarily support me mon monetarily you know what I'm saying but if you say you support me you support me whether you like my subject matter or not if you support me you support me because my thing is if you show up for a show and you don't like my show that day I am going to take what you said into account but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to change my subject matter Mm -hmm. Because my everybody knows my subject matter is little penises. That's always been, you know what I'm saying, because that's what works for me. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? And not saying that I'm just going to continuously do it. Eventually, of course, my comedy is going to We're going to be talking about big penis. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. It's going to evolve right. and change, but the thing is, <laughs> people know me by that particular <laughs> people oh, know me by that particular subject matter. I'm sorry, you know I'm saying? slow. I'm slow. I'm slow. But I just got since it. I started comedy three, you know what I'm saying, three years ago, that's always been my subject matter. People yep. that see me on the street say, Oh, I know you. You know what I'm saying? But again, if you support me, you support me regardless. You know, right. period. Well, I just want to say this before we go to break real quick. I don't I don't mean any harm to anybody. I really, really don't. I didn't mean any harm. Mo said I went kind of hard on her. Uh, so let me do this. Since this was publicly done, I will publicly apologize for my part in the conversation. All right. I you know, you're looking skinny. You're being big man today. Yeah, I mean, I will publicly apologize for that. I do not apologize for the post because the post is the post. Mm -hmm. And um, I do uh, take into account of what people are saying. But please keep in mind, the name of the show is what? Gas to Gas. <laughs> And so keep that in mind, you know, and just because you do send us an inbox, that doesn't mean that we are going to take the post down, but we will take into account, whatever the case is, of what's being done. Mm -hmm. So Miss Kimmy Kim, 
please accept my apology. I don't try. I don't want to be, you know, catty towards you. I don't want you because I'm a man. You know, I I eat kids. You know, oh I'm not God. gonna be kidding, okay? I'm and just where's the petty? Go on the break. Come on. What? And so I just want y'all to know that I, I apologize, and so didn't want me to embarrass, smash you guys. But I'm not mad or nothing like that. I was rather irritated at the fact that Mo was taking up for a friend and not uh, show. You would take care of. Your I was pissed off at you, you for a minute, oh yeah, I, and too. I was mad, you know. Let me see if I can because, do because you I'm upset because I'm not enough for my friend. I, I, no, 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 no. I said that I was upset because of the fact that because you was taking it on, you was liking only her comment. Oh, oh, let me, uh, oh yeah. I mean, see, I, I am, I am very, 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 very thorough. I can't have it. No, wait, 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 so, wait, 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 no, you said that. No, uh, no, you said that way after. Me. No, no, no. It no, didn't. Look no, at the minutes. Was, My was, comment was, "We're better than we're, that." We're, we're better I was than the that. first one who said I, that. Well, okay, but that's fine, Mo. But no, I, no, I want you to see what. I, that's I why I would proved. agree with her. Let, no, because you didn't even know that you didn't even acknowledge just, my first so, comment. Can we handle this offline and we'll go to break? He didn't acknowledge my first comment. Well, just give me a second, Mo. We're so late. The next songs we're gonna play. Is going to be so anxious by genuine and fiending by I'm Joseph. so anxious right now. Shit. Why are you anxious? Because I'm anxious. Okay. I'm anxious. You didn't see my first comment. I probably you, the, didn't. I, I was the first one who commented. I think I commented after you. I was the first one who what, commented. What I want to say is this. I, I, I didn't that's see the comment until later. And see, so, but just thing. hang on, Mo. But all, you gotta do is, all you got to do is then, press on and see what time people posted. But just a wave song. Yeah, oh, this is a wave song. Is yeah. it this song? Well, what, what I'm saying is, Mo, for, for, for a second, I did, I was in my feelings for a second. Oh, wow. But but that but I'm entitled to be in my feelings the way she came at me. You know I'm just saying, Mo. No I mean, but 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 this, this, this is, it, it was well, after, 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 I, after I looked at everything, I was like, you know, this is really not this serious. And then and then I posted this for entertainment purposes only. Don't mean to step on nobody's toes. Don't mean to act right really? nobody, Again, you know, rows. and she what is important, you drink. know, so I didn't mean to, you know, go, hey, yo, so, go a certain yo, kind of but, way but, with her. But that's not it. The other girl, the other lady, I don't know who it was. Did you see her comment? Which yeah, she one? came back and commented and she said. There was another girl, another lady, know. another person. Oh, you talking about the preacher? That's it. She said she that. Was. You talking about the ones that she is, that, 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 that was she good friends with yeah. them? Yeah. That's the one I was talking about. We had an inbox conversation. Okay. And she, But she inboxed me. See, there's a difference. If you, if if I, if I'm teasing with you, or whatever the case it is, I didn't expect it to go that way. I just, I just, you know, thought that it was all jokes at first, and so that's why I, I'm apologizing. I'm taking my responsibility for it because it's, it's over with. But I don't want people because, it, but see, because this went beyond what, what y'all saw. He was, people was inboxing them, us, me. Them, they was inboxing a whole lot of people. And so it went beyond what I thought. And so that's why I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. But that's, that's why I told you, that when quick. I sent that text, I said, leave it alone. But you kept going on and then you got inboxed. But see, I didn't, I didn't, see, listen to me I didn't see your just text like, until like after the message was sent. I was like, that's why I kept saying, no, just squash it. Because what you don't know and what you don't see is you just look at likes and comments. There are a lot of people that look at our stuff and scroll or look at our stuff, and we got a lot of people who share stuff. Right. So, and then the screenshots are out of this world. That's why I was like, just let it go, just let it go. Yeah. But as far as my friend, yeah, it should be my friend to the day. Well, I know she's your friend, and okay. I mean, that's cool. I ain't tripping with that. I just want to make sure that, you know, she know that we ain't yeah, no malice with me, you know, her, and I'm just, I'm cool with it. Yeah. She shouldn't have got to that point. He shouldn't have got to her. I yeah. said, you need to stop being emotional. You can, it, it can, she can, I mean, I was, yeah. I just, I that's Dee Bree's little sister. That's why I'm like, how you know her? I was really lost. She thinks she grown. I'm, I'm telling you. Dee Dee, she thinks she Didi, grown. Dee Dee, if you are watching, you just got a whole shout out on Mass Gaming. She thinks she grown. She ain't grown. Who's, who's Dee Dee? Dee Bree's little sister. You got a little sister? That, that's the thing. So, this thing. She was like itty bitty when we was in high school. It's like, yeah, she was a young girl. Oh, so you look at her like a little sister. <clears throat> so when you see her out here posting pictures half naked, and I, hey, I shouldn't say that hey. she not she wasn't half naked. 
she just had on some very a uh, very revealing outfit. And that I was just, just felt the way that you was looking at her. I felt you un- look at her like a little sister. That's yeah, I felt is. uncomfortable. I'm like, you can't wear that. Who told you you was grown? She did because she grown. She is not. Let's say something. Yeah. Being, being the sister to you three brothers. Know. It's very yeah, much that's very yeah, rough. My oldest brother I see how you are. This has just given up hope. Even the baby oil. You okay. like this, don't you? My oldest brother giving up hope. The middle brother just thinks I'm just <laughs> retarded and dumb. And sunshine playing with the churning. You churning? Put it on your face. See what you call face. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all horny or something? Valentine's Day is too it's February. I'm just saying, February brings out a lot of love in people. It makes you want to. This ain't got nothing to do no love. It do. I mean, a love for something, but this ain't got nothing to do no love. So much like you don't like, like cooties. Because you love it too. You love it too. Okay, but I don't wait for Valentine's Day. Some of us, that's the only chance that we got. Okay? I got 29 Not days. Not saying me, but. 29 For 29 days. days, I can get 29 days minus 29 seven days. worth of loving. So 22 days in a month, days. I can get loving in February. Because oh. men are more mm-hmm. welcome mm-hmm. to Whatever give I up. Get in. Oh, They're okay. more welcome to give it up during the month of February than any other month of the year. I was just trying to... <laughs> who put this song and in? This, still, this song just... This was his. Wasn't feeding your song? Yeah. Oh, this song, right? I watch this song at every cost I can. Mm. So that's how much cootie we get during February. And we was sitting there talking about why is we so in love, and then Fiend come on, come on now. Yeah, that's that's one of them roll them roll them up, do them up songs. So I think if we can play Jodeci, we can play R. Kelly, we can play Chris Brown because I like R. Kelly. Because Casey, I, I heard beating Kelly. up women too. So, but see, but Jodeci is a group. Uh uh-uh. uh, it's a group. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. Same way people listen to Jagged Edge and one of their members beat up women too. So I'm just saying. Can't, you, can't, you can't fault the whole group for, for one, you me. one person. You're just trying to figure out what type of fiending you're doing over there. I ain't doing no fiending. <laughs> this, this song, this song right here, I, I can't say it again. At the band dances? At band pam? Says the no. band, at, at band <laughs> at, at band dances? You know the band dances I used to have, you, And they played this? Because they always played this toward the end. What? Every time I even think of man, I just think of American Pie, and I can't never just really focus on man no more. It no, just, it's just man totally, camp. Yeah, but that ain't no different than the gospel car when I went to Fred. But they ain't bumpy as that. Yeah, BSM. Shout out to them, BSM brothers and sisters. Y'all, I know y'all online watching. Like BSM was a whole yeah. The altos was scoring the tenors, and the tenors was scoring the tenors, and the primes was scoring the altos. Well, in my case, the tenor was the bandmates. But anyway. It is what it is. So, I mean, that's just life. I mean, BSM, bands, Listen, all of that. When they used to Church play, bands, and let me tell you, kind of when we used to have parties at Prairie View, this was one of the songs on the soundtrack. I mean, on, on the rotation. Mm-hmm. And, um, matter of fact, I think the, the last party I went to, it was, a, uh, I believe it was a, uh, the Delta or Carlson. I think that's when uh, they were uh crossing or whatever and they were having their um um their ceremony mm-hmm. and so it was a little party whatever the case is the last time i danced to this song i got sandwiched by six ladies you and was you was you turning did, or was you, you waving or what were you doing was you still I mean, you, you was waving it's possible to get i don't know i was turning on that night yeah it, it's, it's possible. possible it's possible i don't know uh, the first part i ever this went song to, right here i can't Every time I hear that song, I'm like, God damn, I just, no. that memory don't need to come back to me because that's a memory that I like to hold dear and have keep it locked away and key, you know, because I can't tell you what happened the rest of the night. I just need it locked. My me. first party at Fred, you all went to the back cave. Yes. The back cave. Yeah. If you don't know what the back cave is, you, you really didn't go to Fred. But the first song I remember them playing Watch this. was. This is- um, this this is this oh, is snap. That's yeah. horrible. This this is <laughs> that's, that's, that's Hendrix's move right but there. But yeah, the the back cave. What was that? What's the name of that song? Um, not Be in my bedroom. What's the other silk song? Uh, I don't even know. We don't know. Yeah. Listen, if you want to join the conversation, two one four seven one seven four eight two seven. How how close can we get that to the camera so people can see? <laughs> the, that's the turn. 
right wow. there. That, I, I just thought about it. I had it in my phone the whole time. That, that's how that's you turn it. That's a slow it. turn. That, that's Mo, slow hold turn. it up to the camera over there so I we don't can know see exactly see what the turn is. No, nah, we may not need to do that. You know, I don't know if y'all can see the turn. Hold on, y'all. Look. Uh, uh, we'll, pull, we'll just... We'll Look, that's, that's just good. That's, that's just good. Hey, oh, oh. Oh. That's that, ain't nothing, that's, that's safe. Oh, okay. Safe. All right. So it don't look like a flesh. It's like a piece of skin. Anyway. You don't see nothing in there. Anyway. That's props on the toilet. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> that's why you saw a lot of flesh. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be leery of people's phones now. You just can't be swiping left and right on people's phones. Right? <laughs> and how this? many how many people do that when you hand people? Your phone. Oh, I picture. hate when people do and that. And then all of a you see them go, and you're like, no. Mm -hmm. That's why I get rid of my evidence. It's in the cloud. It ain't gonna be on my phone. Oh no, you can't send it to the cloud. You gotta have a secure folder. I uh, am a, at a loss lost. of words lost. at this moment. Yeah. I am at a loss of words. Listen, thank you so much, everybody, for watching the show on today. Listen, make sure you like, you share all this good stuff. We do appreciate everything that you guys are doing for us. And again. Uh, make sure on um, next week we're not remember we're not going to be here but we're going to replay probably this show on next weekend next saturday and then again on the 15th of february we're going to be right back here with the aquarius pisces birthday show again with a duel between uh miss chateau i'm sorry between chateau shimmy and uh tamara's Tam tamara's uh what is it infuse me sweets treats and sweets that's it and so uh i don't know what y'all gonna do so they're gonna take their top three and they're gonna bring it and i'm excited because that's gonna be so fun so we're gonna have a whole lot of room in here and uh, i want you to make it as festive as possible okay yay yeah, yes as festive as possible and listen real quick everybody again uh make sure you continue to follow us and stuff like that and we've come to the point of the show where we get some encouraging words real quick we're gonna start real quick with miss muckswag on the end down there holding up the rear what you got miss muckswag always 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 know that it gets better mm, it gets better it does it gets better that is you might get yeah. Words, it's going to get better, baby. It's going to get better. <laughs> <laughs> Miss what you got? What I got this week, encouraging words. Um, For all of you people out there in love this month. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say wow. that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> because that's really what I want to say. But I have to be, all of you people that are in love, let me just tell you right now, fellas, if you just wait until February 1st to love on her, you lose her. Mm. You already losing. I think you, you really should kind of point that towards the ladies. Because if you were a man that only loved you one month out of the year, she done lost. Who the hell encouraging words is this? Mine or yours? I'm just saying. Okay. So, fellas, again, you are losing. Losing, okay? She already knows that you're losing. Yes, she's going to be with you on the 14th because you're going to take her to dinner and all that good stuff. But I guarantee you on the 15th, she's calling the side piece. That's, that's free lies. game. That's free game. Miss Sunshine, what you got? Because I, what you got? I gave my encouragement. Uh -huh. Yes, you did. Look, I was, I was backing her up. You <laughs> were backing her up. I was backing her up. Back, 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 backing it up. Look, I, I don't I, hate because my friend supports me. <laughs> I, I have, I have nothing. Oh my God, that was a dig at me. Got you. Okay, that was, a, yeah. that was a dig at that, you. Go ahead. That was a dig at oh, you. All I can say is. You know, to to back up Shimmy here, you know, seriously, if you're not if you're not showing love to those who you love, the I other eleven months yeah. out of the year, you 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 won't. And fellas, you only get twenty two days to show this love this this month, so unless she ain't got them parts no more, you got twenty two days to love on her. You better work it out. Oh what Jesus! You got, bro? What you got? Okay, don't, I, I, I was I was on I'm I'm somewhere totally different. Um, See, that's stop what. stop trying to compare yourself and run somebody else's race. The only person you're in competition with is the old you. Mm. That's a good one. That's good. The only person you're in competition with is the old you. Absolutely. I ain't stop running nobody on. race. Period. Uh, <clears throat> go ahead. So we got we got nine minutes for your sermon. Oh, um, no, actually, no, no, no. We're going to take nine minutes. Real quick, um, um, I did remind you guys of what's going on. Again, don't forget about April 18th. This is Lupus Squawk. Make sure you come on down and support. We'll have more details for that, again, on our Facebook information and also as well as magicgas.com. 
Also, the uh, space sermon, April 25th, 2020. Make sure you check out our fly that's on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and all of our social media outlets. Again, per team, registration is $40 per team. Listen, y'all go ahead because we got some strong space players coming. If you say you're a space player, no matter what area you are, come on down to Dallas, Texas, and see what you can do with some of these Texas cars. Because, you know, um, um, Mo already kind of made a suggestion that we should have like a little space game after the tournament, you know, so she can teach us a couple lessons. So, I think you know, we should do I, it in I, month, I'm though. Think, uh -huh. On the show, like have like a mini space kind Which of thing. We, we, we've tried to play we games on this play. show. We can't do that. We can't do that. We, 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 our, Uno you know, was a bust. It was Uno. Uno. Yeah. Uno was Uno. 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 No one yeah. lost it. No one lost. We couldn't, we couldn't play. play. <laughs> we just couldn't focus and play. I tried that. We can't talk and do the same thing. Yeah, we, we, we can't I do thought it was easier, but it just didn't work. But yeah, you can have a whole mirror in the room with you while you Googling. The mirror ain't yeah, moving, you though. You moving. What's that? Because you got to play with the cards, I don't think that that you know the concentration just looking in the mirror that that's easy concentration. When you talking about playing, you know, so you yeah. can't you yeah. can't line up numbers and I really I like, really I'm really understanding have what's happening. That. <laughs> like me, I'm all serious about an Uno game, baby. Because we're gonna. I win. sound like I it. Lie. I know. My if nephew, I'm right, I'm my right. nephew played with me and my sister in law the other night, and I was pissed the hell off because he beat us three times and he ate. Yeah. Okay, and I was mad. Look, okay? and he kept, are beast. Yeah, my mm -hmm. thing is, he kept beating me, and he kept saying, uh, Nene, like only pointing to me. You ain't gonna say nothing to your fuck ass mama? No. Okay, because you beating her too, but you all on me. Because he probably knows about her. And then you me probably, too. Uh, and you probably <laughs> the only one talking noise to him. Of course, oh, that's that's how that's how we do. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's my man, that Hunter Graham. Little, that See, little. that's the reason why. Real quick, before we leave, our last song that we're gonna be playing tonight is the um tonight not, today is uh the truth by we India Ire. But uh, if I had any um um encouraging words today, they're gonna be for myself today. Tell them for me. And that would that would be um listen, stop taking shit so personally. There are some things that you do not have to take personally. Everybody is going to have a different idea and opinion on the things that you may do or you may say. And so don't take those things so personally. Make sure that you evaluate your own feelings and where you're sitting at that moment that you are approached so you can respond the correct way. So don't take stuff so personally. Make sure that you are living a great and a wonderful life and do something good for yourself today. Take yourself out to eat. Go to the park. It's a pretty day out here in Dallas, Texas. It's going to get up to about 62 degrees today. You know, do something with your family. Do something that's going to uh, brighten your day today, or whatever the case it is. And so if I had anything else, I just want to say thank you guys again for watching. Or whatever the case it is, check us out on February 15th. We'll be back again in the studio with our birthday show. If there ain't nothing else, I think the time is 11.55. What we can do is we can just rock out the rest of the time with the rock music. Rock out with your cock out. What do you mean? Oh. What? Rock, rock out with your cock out. You've never heard that expression before? <clears throat> no one says cock. Who does that? Everybody says it's, cock. It's, it's a uh, European, those of European descent that live in the North American region use that terminology. Rock mostly at um, rock and roll concerts. Yeah. <laughs> you said rock and roll concerts. Listen, everybody, when you are describing your body parts to your child, do not use the word cock. White people do it all the time. Please Excuse don't me, do that's that. the Caucasian. That's, it, that's Caucasian exactly all what time. I just said. Yeah, I know, do but that. I'm just saying, I'm he's just saying, saying don't, don't do that. that. He's saying don't. It's penis, if you're going to say it. Y'all don't even penis. like when I say I don't penis. Like dick. Oh, no, man. I don't like that word either. I just don't. Especially if your name is Richard. I, I, I don't. prefer the word dick. What if your name is Richard? No, 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 baby. No. Yeah, I don't like dick either. I mean, Y'all got mad at me for saying penis. Okay, maybe y'all said got mad because I said little penis. But it is what it is. Like, no, I don't understand. Little penis don't. has no effect on me. I don't understand why that would be. Well, it should. I'm just saying. Exactly. No, because you ain't going to see nobody. Exactly. I can't I do this. I can't you, do I mean, it is yeah. what it is. I don't understand what y'all are talking about. I can't do this. I don't know. If you weren't playing just, words with friends, maybe you'd be a <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. She done played 12 games you know of, of words with friends. All I'm saying is. She gets I really distracted. This. That's why she don't talk to bitches at work. That's, you know, Mom, that's, give me, give that's why three, she don't Mom, talk to bitches Give me bitches three numbers to play today. Give me three numbers to play today. Woo! You know, them doubles been coming out. Them doubles been coming out. So it's got to be two, two, three. Okay. Three, three, two. Okay. Got to be. 
All right. 49, Don't be doing my number. Oh, make sure you guys be safe for the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Be safe for the Miami Super Bowl. Is so hot today. And we'll see y'all again next week again. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Though. Peace. I really don't want to be. Yay! You said right, so, we got like 50 minutes. Nothing. What happened to the so boy? Who's going? Who's going? I need. Oh, yeah. It's Did y'all hear about the boy who didn't cut his hair? He oh, yeah. We went to another school. Yeah, he went to a different school. I think I said well, that. What school did he go to? I don't know, but he I wanted to. But I wanted to. I know. And he you got it early? Four minutes ago? Three minutes of kerfuffle play? Nope. And I want to know did he keep his 10% status?